Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Blood Throne. I'm going to be playing this game today with my buddy Mike Buns. You may remember him from multiple games on our channel. In fact, our very first game ever was played with Mr. Michael Buns and Mr. Stephen Wilhite. A grand old time. A grand old time. It was a classic Thousand Suns versus Space Marine mashup. Some sort of loser Space Marines. <laughs> Ooh, triggered. Uh, today we're playing Blood Throne with the expansion heroes. Uh, we've thrown together uh, what we have. Reese, who's in the chat with us, I believe, as well, who's the designer of this game, so you guys will be able to ask him questions and talk a lot about how the game works, the fundamentals, and I'm sure between Mike and I, we're going to mess stuff up. Thanks for being here, Reese. We're going to need your help. <laughs> we're going to need your help, Reese. Um, we're playing the expansion heroes. Now, these are pretty cool. You'll note that on the table, we have these full sheets of paper. That's how we printed them out, so Mike and I can read them. Um, when they do come in the kit, they'll be much like the other games that we've played, in that it's a half size sheet. It all drops in. There's Frontline Gaming Network. Yo, there he is. Yo, dog. Reese is in the house. Um, it is a really fun, cool game. It's currently on Kickstarter. Make sure to check the link to check out the Kickstarter. I've backed it, and I've backed it at the full hero level, which is the base game plus the hero expansion. Uh, and I'm super excited to get it. These models are gorgeous. They're from Creature Caster. Um, and the game itself plays, once you play it a couple times, it becomes so easy to play. I haven't played it since the last time recently I played, so I'm going to be a little rusty. You've been talking my ear off about how great this is. So I, I'm, I'm I pretty excited to, to get my, to sink my teeth in. I'm, I'm desperately trying to read all the skills so that I'm ready to go. But <laughs> let's do it, man. The helpful part is Reese actually sent us uh, an entire list of how to play and then broke down the skills for us. So we're going to do our level best to not embarrass ourselves. But even if we do, if we mess up, who cares? We're having fun playing the game. Too late uh, But definitely go to Kickstarter, check it out. These models are gorgeous. Um, and they're all, like, pre-assembled. Like, you don't have to put them together. But I like putting them together. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't. I know you You don't like them. Um, we've already stretched out our, our, um, our initiative. You always deploy from last to first. We know who it is. We've listed them all, but we're going to start with doing that right now and just drop our initiative down really, really quick. So we're going to go with, actually, interesting uh, thing there, Polly. The PvE version of the game can play solo. That's cool. Yeah, so you can actually play the game by yourself. Sometimes I like to play by myself. Yes, you do. <laughs> Three objectives in the middle of the board. Those are our treasure chests. Get the most treasure chests by the end of turn six, win the game. Kill all the bad guys, win the game. I'm actually playing uh, the good guys in this one. You're playing the bad guys. I love playing the I'm the adherence guys. to Zenith. You are the iconoclasts. You suck the soul juice. I don't suck the soul juice. It's literally how it works. <laughs> my first deployment, though, is going to be way down here, I believe, with... No, it's here, my paladin. So this is going to be Sabir. Sabir. Sabir, Fala, Sabir in Falan. So cool. Ooh. So I got to go one, two, three, four, five in. One, two, three, four, five in. And that is where I can drop my dudes. Oh, that's how you were saying that word. So it's sort of okay. the first two squares. So I'm going to go, Sabir's going to drop there. That's my first drop. Now you said it was between 15, 5 and 15. 5 and 15 and three squares up. Uh, two squares, three squares. We can go two squares. We can go three squares. I don't care. Two squares up. I'll uh, take your word for it. So it's your whoever your lowest. That is my uh, very cool Dark Knight. Ah, uh, yes, Canthus. Yes. He's such a cool model. How about there? Why not? That's three squares up. So it is. <laughs> Two squares. <laughs> Two squares up. Uh, and then next on the list is my next one, which is going to be my arcane trickster, Gemden. Where is Gemden? There she is, little cat person. She's sort of cool. Um, she's got some neat abilities, which I probably need to read up on. The cool part that I love about this game is um, you can actually make your own characters, too. You can make your own fighter, you can make your own strategist, you can make your own artificer. Is that who's next, your artificer? Yeah, my artificer, uh, what is it? Sefena? Uh, Sefena? The Boom Singer? The Bone Singer? I think it's Boom. Boom Singer, I've got- I know you want it to be Bone Singer, you dirty elf loving guy. I love the elves, I do, I do. All right, uh, way to go, Boom Singer. Speaking of elves. Slinger. My celestial oh, elf, Aluvia Bright Eye. Is a demon she's hunter. that little twinkle. She's a demon hunter. Uh, she's melee and has a pistol. So I'm going to put her next to Sabir. I'm going to put her back. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to give her a little bit of cover here, hopefully. So she's going to go right here. And I'm going to be facing... All my guys are facing in the forward. Arc of action is a really important part of this game. It's basically the square in front of you and the two to the left. And I just broke the model. You sure did. Wow. Okay. 
Whoops, sorry, Reese. You were just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, I just snapped her arm off. Oops. Okay, uh, I've got the... I don't know where that went. My little strategist here, Tarkan. <laughs> I literally big fat knuckled her and just down she went. Oh man. Now you said facing is extremely important in this it game. Is. So like even on the square, you can be facing just slightly to the side and it, it fully changes your uh, field Exactly, of if you go to the diagonal, it's the diagonal square right in front of you and then the two right and left. That's your arc of action, that's what you can see. All right. Because getting targeted in the back is with advantage. So you have, a, you have bonuses to do that. I'm gonna bring a Loyan in. And I'm gonna bring a Loyan in right here. He's next, I believe. All right. Or no, my monk. No, sorry, it was my monk. My bad. Monk goes there. You just really wanted to put that. I just want to put it down because he's so cool. Because yeah. I don't want to break anything else. Again, no. Again, no. Okay, so now I've got Dextran, Dextroth, Dextroth. That's a warlock, right? One of the coolest looking models in this set so for sure. Cool. I'll put it right next to the actual coolest guy, Mr. Bug Knight himself. The Canthus. My gambler's next. So I'm going to throw my gambler out here. I don't think you'll be able to see me from there. I don't think you can hit anything at that far range. And my that's gambler's going to go. That's what I think. That's yeah. what you think. And then I've got my final one is my transmuter. So I think it's, uh, I have all the last three, don't I? You have one more and then I do the rest, right? Uh, I have two more. Two more. Two more. So it's your two guys and then me. Oh, right. Yeah, you have the really fast guy. Super fast. Who would have thought a, like a mage would be so fast? Yeah, but he's like a necro mage. He's like mechanical man. It's all it's up on cool. necro juice. Or apparently, I drink the juice. I don't. I don't even know what you're referencing. Soul juice. Oh, ah, yeah, soul, soul juice. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, oh no, this guy goes down first. Cool little crocodile man. We don't actually have the actual Scooty tokens Pop for them. Here. Yeah. Well, the characters will all come with little tokens and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And if you do the just the hero pledge, which I think is. I want to say the Hero Pledge is $80, which comes with all of these models. I believe it comes with that's, all their markers and cards, but it doesn't come with That's the Hero Expansion that we're playing today? But just the Hero Expansion is the PvP version of the game. Cool. doesn't have the terrain. Buy it. Drop them down, yeah. Put oh, it, I, oh, right. It's I your guy. put them both down. Um, but it comes with all of these expansion heroes. Uh, I can so the base all kit the has down. all the jazz, all the dice, all the cool stuff. My last dude. I'm going to just drop him right back here, I think. So out of curiosity... He doesn't Seeing that I really have no idea what I'm doing. Yep. These are objectives. Yes, sir. I can, in fact, see through them where other things block line of sight. Yep. Um, but you did. You said one level you can see past. You can see over one level. Even if I'm a little shrimpy uh, Even you're a little shrimpy dude, man. yeah. The Reese can probably confirm it, but I believe targeting you, tar like shooting at you over that, you would have some, I think you get disadvantage. I okay. can't, can't remember, but. Sure. Um, and then the object of this game is either wipe the opponent's team, or hold the most objectives at the end of... Of the game. So you can actually when take an objective, <laughs> turn six. Okay. It's only six turns. Okay. You can actually grab an objective and run off the board. You have to leave your own board edge. But I, to grab an objective, I have to get to the objective, spend a turn opening it up, yep. and then pull it. Yes, so you can't move to it, open it, and take it. But you I can move to it, open it, then you can take it and move. Okay. So you can't just run out, grab it, and run away. But in theory, I could have one character run up, open it, another character run up, take it? Theoretically, yes. Okay. Which means you could run up, open it, fail to open it, do damage to yourself. Oh, I can fail to and, open oh, it. Oh, you absolutely can. These are some heavy chests. And then I run up, <laughs> and I pick it up and run away. You jerk. I have a total jerk. Okay. That's how she rolls. Well, the cool part is, we've deployed everybody. We start, and my first action is J1 which I've labeled Aloyan. Aloyan has a summon, which I'm probably gonna bring him on, Just which is pretty up cool. The summon. Well, yeah, that way I don't have to summon and move, right? Bob and weave, JT, Bob and weave. I don't actually have the stats on his little totem dude. I, I think it's just a spell node that I can cast through. I can't remember how, much wound, how many wounds it has. I'd have to look. But I'm going to bring in to play his summon. I'm not gonna choose not to move and just bring him on. I don't really want to get forward to you right now. Oh, come on. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna move him. I'm gonna move Aloyan. Aloyan's move is five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Actually go three, four, five. Here, and then I'm gonna bring out my spell node here. Can I Reese attack can... said spell node? I don't know. Reese, can we attack the spell nodes? Um, I cannot recall if I have to roll for this or not, so I'm gonna try it. I succeed. No, I don't but I can't remember if I have to or not. Does the swirl help you? 
Twirl doesn't help me because it's four it's on like dice. It's like a crit sometimes. It's like a crit sometimes, yeah. I think I fail to cast it. Doesn't matter. I'm going to bring him up next turn. Okay. So had you not moved, it would auto cast. It would auto cast, but because you moved, you had to make the action. Yes, and I basically failed. Um, my metaphysics is four, and it's against a standard target number of four. And the way that the dice work, that's effectively your d20. Can we show the dice tray, Mr. Owen? So if you want to look at it from an RPG perspective, you've got orange dice, which is your d20 roll, white dice, which are plus ones, blue dice, which are minus ones. If you have more white dice, then your opponent has blue dice in defense, you'll get to roll that extra white dice with your orange dice. So it effectively makes it a little bit easier to potentially hit. However, if they have more defensive dice than you have offensive dice, you'll have to roll one of their defensive dice, which has the skull token on it, which is a critical failure. You can blow somebody's whole day up with just one defense dice. I'm just glad there's some skulls in this Gotta blood skulls. throne. Got to have skulls for the skull throne. I mean, wait, <laughs> skull throne, blood throne? Yeah, nope, blood throne, blood throne. So transmitter runs up. Uh, I didn't do my thing. That's okay. Uh, next, I actually have my gambler who can move five. Oh, yeah, you now, get if to, I remember right, you get to Pascal, move a couple guys here. Yeah, because I have such high initiatives. However, that also means you have a run of initiatives that are just yours. So I have moved turn one, and I move him forward. Pascal the Gambler. Most of my stuff is medium range. So even one, two, three, four, five. Even that won't quite reach you. Because that's the medium range uh, template, per yeah, se. Yeah, so I'm it's actually going to do something 11 funky. And a half 11 and a half inches. Okay. I'm going to do something funky. I am going to delay. Okay. Yeah, you're going to spend the. I, I read that one. So you oh. can. We can each pick one character to delay. Yeah. Uh, until the end, and I'm that's an use... action of his. That's that's an action. Yeah. So I will still have an action at the end of the turn. Okay. So he's going to delay, and then I have my monk. So he's delaying, and now my monk is going to move, and this is Kachiweho, who's going to move up to five, and he's here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can get right to here. That puts him way out in the front, and I don't really want that. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one, two, three. No, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wow! So you double move that. I guy. double move. He's done. Okay. Gonna run him up the side of the board, so he's finished. That goes to Mike's two characters to get to move. Yeah, I believe I opened up with uh, my sorcerer, the the Scoot, the old Scooty Puff Senior, the Doombringer. The Doombringer. Um, so he moves four. Okay. And then he has a bunch of really powerful ranged shooting. Will you be able to get is to like range? Is likely nothing in range. Um, medium range. Oh, it's medium. So that's the eleven and a half. That's the eleven and a half. And I assume it all requires line of sight. I know that Tatama, yes, Tatama does have some out of line of sight, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. Yeah, Tatama's totem is pretty cool. Yeah, it slows him down, but um, it, it enables him some diff different singular abilities that only he has, which yeah. is quite cool. So let's get into those later in the game. Yeah, and if you can see the initiative board that we're using, folks, we've just taken some of the tokens from the first set and tagged numbers and names on them mm -hmm. so we know who it is and marked our sheets with it. Of course, we're, you're still in production. So we're still prototypes. One, two, so three, four, five, six. Yeah. Now that would grant me some kind of protection from range. But yeah, I believe I, I believe it would be disadvantage is the cover gives you disadvantage or is it minus one dice? Because I know that's changed. Maybe Reese can answer that for so us. So to get range on this guy, I would have to get into this square. That's how I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Owen, can you let Ben in? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's because everybody's got... We're, we're like skeleton crewing it right now. I am going to delay... Delaying the scoot. The scoot. All right, well, I'll give you a I don't a really want to move him forward. No, I'm with you. I'll give you a token just to mark that he's delayed. Okay. So that's why I've left my J2 back. Scoot is M2, right? Yeah. So now, so now he's I go. delayed. So now M1, the other guy has to go. Yeah, now is... Summoning his totem uh, free cover action. is plus one armor if we're within a square of it. Thanks, Reese. Within a square of it, so you get plus one armor, even on an angle, like that's within, within a square. square? I would say so. Okay. Good. To I mean, if I'm know. shooting you from the back, no. Yeah, it would make sense. But if if, if, it's it, if in, I have to, if I go across it, if it's in the way and or whatever, yeah, kind of like uh, how I know you said it's a rule book, but we've, I've already crits. broke a model. 
<laughs> Hi, Griffin. How are you, bud? Okay, so I have my Super Jaguar Witch Tatama. Yes. And uh, I want to get his totem out because it gives me some long distance ranging, which feels good. It does, doesn't it? It sure does, but it really slows him down. Oh, because it can only move one, right? It can only move one, and he has to be within uh, some kind of engagement range or within one to, to use its abilities. Yeah. The casting becomes long range. Uh, so he summons it and has line of sight range on his spells. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got to draw a line through it, like we just said, which yeah. is pretty intuitive for the most part. Yeah, that's fair. All the pop-up terrain comes in the full box set as well. There's two versions. There's the um, undamaged and there's the damaged. And I think the undamaged comes in the box, and then you can add it to your pledge in the Kickstarter to get the, the damaged stuff. I'm going to move him one, two, three, four. Okay. And I'm happy with him there, and then I'm going to... You know what? I might as well move five, because mm -hmm. that's his full move. Yep. And then I will summon the... Summon the dude. The Wolfie McGee. Which is your totem now. Which is my totem now. Yeah. I think technically I summoned my totem. I might have screwed can, that up. Can you move through... Oh, wait. Do I have to cast it? Um, is Which it totem... Move cast? If you're not... You know what I think? I did it's mess this up. It's a shout action. It's an action. So, um, yeah, I think you just do it. What's the action? What does it say? This is the model summons their witch totem into the square within melee range. Okay, so what is the skill that you use for that? I'm using a uh, skill name, witch totem. Uh, and that's metaphysics? Yes. What's metaphysics on Satama? It is six. All right, so um, it's not a move cast. So I think it's just a cast that would automatically happen, but let's roll it out anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's just try it just out. to pair it. So, so because I'm metaphysics six, yeah. I get my two orange dice and then. Six white dice. Six, oh, six on top. Yeah. Okay. But the target is four blue dice. Well, it wouldn't be six white dice then? It'd be six white dice is your metaphysics. Yeah. The target is four blue. So we remove four white. The four blues cancel the four whites. And you have two whites, two orange. Oh, okay. I see. Sort of. <laughs> it, it, it once it goes a few times. We're going to roll it just for fun to see how this works. So there's a there's a. So I got the white it crit, goes off. but yep. not the black crit. Which it goes off. Okay. So that's functionally how it works, but it's a shout action and it's a single action in this case. But technically we didn't have to roll, but that's how but it just, works. Just to see how it works. Yep. Now, um, can you can allies move through another yes. ally's space? You just can't end in it. Okay. You can't well, move through an opponent. I'll just put them there then. That makes sense. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have the next character as well? So that was. To Tatama uh, on turn one. Oh, yeah, no, that guy's delayed. So now it is me again for M3. I got uh, the Warlock, the Man, the Legend, uh, Dexroth. And he moves a mighty six. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. So if I just go four, six to here. Yep. And then I'm going to do uh, a common action and do some kind of defense. Ah. Because why not? Sure. We've got all these special rules. Let's use Let's some. Let's use the rules. Because um, this is your M3, right? These are afflictions, common actions, defend action. Uh, model gives themselves defense. Plus two evasion, fortitude, will. Perfect. So he's defended. And then what we can he's do. He's feeling very defended. Feeling very defended? Yeah. There used to be a button in here that was defended. I'll look for it. Why don't you figure out your you turn? Okay. Also so we. Good. We can put it on the mark or put it on the table. On the oh, cards you know that you I'll get. I'll put it on him. Then that, it, that keep, we know. it keeps the table from being Because typically so, we would have uh, the cluttered. cards like these. I don't know if you guys can see those cards there. That card is what we would have for all these characters. Now they've changed them so they're this way so we can fit them around the table easier. Oh, okay. But then well, what you would do yeah. is your status effects, you would put them in the actual holes. Oh, perfect. So that you can look at your model and go, oh, this guy is armored, this guy is defended, this guy is what have you. Now that is a nice card. It's a pretty cool card, man. They're they're really neat, and they've they've made them even better, which is nice. I believe it's you. It's again. still my turn because you I'm have the like coolest guys. one, two, three, four, five dudes in a row. Yeah, well, I, mean, I didn't force you to play that side. Although I did mention the other day that the crab was really the cool. crab dude is the <laughs> coolest. I love the crab dude. All right, so I'm using my cannoness. Yeah. Uh, Seth and the Boom Singer. I really wanted to shoot something. How fast does this guy move? 
Uh, he is, is probably a six or something. Is my guess. He's move five. Move five. So he has a threat range of ten with his charge for the next turn. He's really good against lightly armored targets, but nothing else. Well, I mean, that's all I've got. <laughs> So, uh, I have to use the old... I can also do a here. really cool acrobatic ability that lets me move through terrain. Oh, cool. Is that like his uh, his feet? His that once, is uh, his once acrobatic. A, once a match ability. I keep wanting to, to find... I'm like constantly looking for a tape measure. Constantly. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so she moves five. And so that's just squares. One, two, three, four, five. So I think, do you have any, is, I didn't notice this yet, but do you, do you have any skills that do like a splash damage? So if I kind of- You mean AOEs? It, AOEs, yeah. I don't think uh, so. I think my, I think the Scoots, he's got uh, an aura ability that hits guys around him, um, but it's a, at short distance, so. Yeah, most here. of those abilities are fairly short, with okay. the exception of Jib Job, who is the best. Jib job. He's the best. Is that one of your characters? Uh, Arcane Trickster. No, he's one of the main heroes. Oh, okay. You no, know, I don't think I have any AOEs that I can think of. I might, and I might not have read it, but I will absolutely tell you if I come to it. Ten is far. It really is. I've got the Demon Hunter going next. Can you shoot guys in close combat? Uh, shoot, yeah, and you, if can, you, you can't. You can't shoot a, a range weapon in close combat. I read you that. You can but... shoot into close combat. Uh, in doing so, if you miss, you hit your buddy. That makes sense. Automatically. <laughs> that checks out. Yep. <laughs> and I believe it's either a, I think he might have disadvantage shooting into combat as well. Okay, so she's gonna go here. Uh, and that's, so that was one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Because the diagonal movement is worth yep. two. And then she will attempt to uh, crab it up. Are now, I don't know how that works, so I assume it's something similar to Tatama's summon, and so, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself just pulling all my summons out, but I don't feel like I have anything else to do with her. Also, haven't read her skills yet, so... But, uh... I'm not sure if the summon is listed. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, summon Clockwork Crab. Okay. Which is my favorite of uh, the models here. It's so cool. I love this Clockwork Crab. Okay, so it is a the physical type. The only step shooting in combat is pistol. Yeah. Um, yeah, all of her stuff is medium and short range. Yeah. So I might as well bring out this cool crab guy to do yep. crab guy stuff. Yep. And I do it by uh, automatic success. Yes. So is it, what is the action economy on that? The action keyword? Yes. Uh, it is uh, mechanics, mechanics action. That's the action keyword. Okay. Uh, full round action. Ah. So, so I couldn't have moved to so, do it. So because it's a full round action, yeah. you can move cast, which means you have that target number we talked about, what we did before. Yeah. Same thing happens again. What is her, because is it mechanics or metaphysics probably, right? Uh, physical. It's physical. Yeah. That's the keyword, so, so action type physical? Yes. Action so, type physical, correct. Okay. So that would go off her, well, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a great question. Probably off of her accuracy, I would think. Yeah, or... What's her, her metaphysics is zero, right? Zero, yeah. So what is her, there is no mechanics. So I would imagine that would be, does it list it on the right side what it's for her summons? No. Uh, underneath her name, Artificer? It has main hand, offhand? Uh, offhand, Artificer's Wrench. Uh, two white dice for melee. So it, I'm gonna, I believe it's gonna be off of her finesse. I mean, it's the best That's skill the physical she has, action, right? so I'll take it. Accuracy is shooting and hitting, finesse is action. So I, yeah, we're gonna go with finesse, because it so makes sense, because her finesse is four. It's a four. Yeah. Um, and the, st the stock action is a four. So I get my two orange dice. We might be doing this wrong. Reese is probably screaming at the screen. I hope he's not. <laughs> but we're having fun with it, so it doesn't make much difference. Um, four white dice, and then there's some kind of counter to it, right? Four blue dice. Right, because that's the standard is four, and yeah. so it just knocks out exactly. all of those dice. I get the two dice, two and oranges, an explosion. I there got, it is. I got the darkest so explosion. So you summon You summon your crab. Crab man. Uh, do, do. Can I summon him on a diagonal? 
You can summon him anywhere square in front of you, or a square beside you, I believe, yes. Okay. Uh, or it could even be within short range sometimes. Okay. Because it'll tell you that in the ability. It sure would. Uh, this is action. This model summons a clockwork crab to aid her in battle, which is the plan. Nice, nice, nice. Just to skip any problem, I'm going to do it directly in front. Works. That works. So are you finally done? <laughs> Maybe. That was, your, was that your fifth one? I'm not done yet. I got one more guy. I got one more guy. Fourth one. This uh, uh, Fourth, fifth. Cause Tarkan. My friend Tarkan. He's going to boost and do some buffing. Buff? He, he's starting to bump me up. <laughs> okay. Tarkan. My man. My man. Where are you, Tarkan? Here we go. Um, so he has some pretty good abilities, uh, mostly around buffing my guys, which is fantastic. Uh, I will, in this case, buff the very cool and very awesome, uh, what's he called? The Dark Knight. Ah, uh, Canthus. Canthus the Bugman. <laughs> He's so cool. He's so cool. So, um... I get a free action yep. from him and gives him haste, which I believe gives me gives an, extra an extra action. action. And then I can't do another shout this turn because it has the same, because he has, he's all about shouting. He's telling everybody stuff in a loud, deep, thunderous voice. Do the thing. Do the thing I'm telling you to do. Okay. Uh, in that case, Thanks, Kyle. he will then move. And he moves. So uh, I need a thing. He gets one extra action. Yeah. He's hasted. He's so that means he's going to move. Hasted. Then he's going to move, then he can move. Maybe. Or he can move and then charge. Oh, he's going to snicker at you and his bug like sounds. Uh, okay. He wants to get into combat and hold, right? Oh, he's going to he's going to touch you. He's going to touch me. He's going to touch you all touch over. Touch me in a bad way. <laughs> that's a, that's a, depends. Maybe you'll like it. Uh, sorry, I move four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four to there. And then I have one more action because hasting my big buggy friend is a free, free action. action. And he will, I mean, where he is is pretty good. Inconceivable, which is a great name for a skill, especially if you're screaming it out loud to make people do stuff. All right, that just stops you from doing something to me. So he will move again, because uh, why not? Well, yeah, why not? One, one, two, three. You know what? I'm going to go one, two, three, four. There. That's his second move. That's his second My move. My apologies. No worries. And you're done. And then I'm done. Now you maybe get to have some guys go. I have one or two. So my first one to move here now is going to be my Demon Hunter. She moves six, and she can do some stuff. I'm gonna go two, four, six to here. Oh, she's quick. She's very quick. Oh, look who's in range. So uh, you're plus one armor on that guy, because you're in cover. But I think what I'm actually gonna do is she has the ability to do something called exposing strike. And I have... <laughs> Sorry, what is it called? Exposing strike. All right. Medium range pistol. So it is accuracy versus your evasion. And in addition to normal damage, you will gain the vulnerable affliction. Okay. Do you see what the vulnerable affliction does? PvP is baked in. You can do PvP stuff with the core rulebook. Absolutely, Azusa. Do, 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 do. do D. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. The next action that targets this model is treated as having uh, originated in this model's rear arc. Okay, so you get advantage. You end up getting advantage. Yeah. So that is accuracy four, plus two orange. What is your evasion on your strategist, sir? Strategist, uh, evasion of a mighty two. So I'm gonna lose two of my white dice. I don't have any advantage or anything here. I'm just trying so to shoot wh you. What is the cover giving me? Extra armor. So you'll shrug damage dice. Okay. What is your armor right now? Your damage reduction? Damage reduction is one. So I do hit. If I had advantage, I could potentially do something with that, but I don't. So but that it's is the next attack. That it's we'll the next get one. It. Okay. So the power on that attack, I believe, is four white dice. It's four white dice on that attack. 
I don't think the, these sheets are actually new. I'm gonna look at the old ones here. <laughs> just to remember how it does. Yes. So it's four white dice. Plus, I believe my two power. Reese can confirm this. What is your defense? I mean, my damage, damage reduction? reduction. Yeah. A one. One but plus another two. one because of the the shenanigans. Gotcha. So I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. One, two, three, four, five, six. You do six damage to him. I six damage, and he's vulnerable. Okay. So that would uh, drop him. No armor. Hold on a second. Armor gives me plus one defense. My brain is 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 remembering a different the rule differently. I've never read the rule book. Neither so have I. I'm just taking Wait a minute, your word neither have for I. it. No, I have. Um, my brain is remembering this differently. Why am I, why is my brain differently? Because it reduces the amount of damage you take, reduces the number of dice. Reese will correct the hell out of us and probably phone me in a minute. Go with six damage, and if I screwed it up, I screwed it okay, up. Okay, so I go from seventeen to nine. Uh, seventeen to eleven, because it's six. Oh, only six. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. That would make sense. 11. Yeah. So it reduces the amount of incoming damage. But that's hers. He's now vulnerable. Yes. Which means the next attack against him, I'm just going to give yeah, him... Yeah, he's on the rear arc. Counts as being in the rear arc. Let's Pretty just cool. give him that marker. That's fine. She has moved. She has shot. She has any quickened ability that she can do as a free action. Nope. All good. She's done. Demon Hunter, Aluvia, is done. But that means I'm next with the Arcane Trickster. Mm -hmm. Arcane Trickster is next. So this is Gem Den, the Arcane Trickster. Now, her abilities are based in meta metaphysical, um, and she can do some really messed up stuff. <laughs> I can make you run away from the chests. That's great. Which is right. You cannot get closer to the chest, which is super duper strong. But most of her stuff is going to be at medium range. So none of these say full round action. So all her stuff is a casting action. Arcane Trickster. They treat me as an ally. That's kind of neat. What else can she do? So she can fear you, um, become ethereal. That one is unlimited. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm gonna see if I can get close enough to be medium range. I don't think I can, because she only moves four. So one, two, three, four to there. And I think that's all she's gonna do. Because I don't really wanna pop up. You don't have a ton of range, but you have enough, right? I don't know. <laughs> um. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've moved, and now as a standard action, I'm going to cast Ethereal Form on Aloyan. So Aloyan now gains a unique inspiration. He becomes Ethereal, lets him move through models and terrain, can't be targeted by physical actions, and may not make physical actions. Okay. So He's a ghost. It is a, it is a buff. How long is this going to last for? I believe because it's an inspiration, it doesn't last the whole game. You want to check your shark there? Uh, so we've got... Oh, uh, mirror image, brother. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're not doing that. I've been told. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, yes. Mirror image. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I'm doing mirror image. Okay. Um, okay, so this is kind of cool. I am going to... It's a standard action, casting action. She moved... She has another action. It's a standard action to do it, so I, I automatically pass. She now has mirror image. This is kind of neat. I did read this. Thanks, Reese. I really hope we did everything right. Mirror image. So mirror image gives me... Where is it? There it is. I gain a unique blessing. While I, ha I have two mirrors, whenever it's successfully affected by an action from an opposing model, I roll both action dice. If either one's an explosion, one of the mirrors is hit... Action fails and mirror removed. Well, it's got a mirror. Whenever it's successfully affected by an action from an opposing model, roll an action dice. If the result's an explosion, the mirror's hit. Action fails, move it, remove it. So it basically gives me an extra layer of defense. Okay. So I'm going to use these two models, these two markers. This is my two mirrors. But you get two of them. Yes, starts with two. So it's going to block two different actions. Could potentially. Okay. I roll every time. Until you lose them. Until I lose them. And then that's your last model, dude. I'm on M6. 
Psycho Sin, I agree. It is an expensive set. However, you get a couple buddies to go in with it on you or go in with you on it. That makes more sense. So he has a move of four and he has three actions. Uh, this is my sweet, 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 slow as heck. <laughs> Super tough. Super big tough. Buff boy. Super tough, big buff so, boy. One, two, three, four. One, maybe, two, maybe Reese can answer three, for us to make four. sure I did it right. Go ahead and sort your movement out. So if I'm attacking with a six white dice reach accurate defensive Shamshir in my Paladin, I do six white dice plus my power four white dice, I believe, is when I roll my damage. So he can hit really friggin' hard. So that puts him there. Can he grab the... Can I open that chest? Uh, you could attempt to open the chest because you've moved, you've moved, and now you can do the last action. Attempting to open the chest is a... It's a finesse It's a finesse versus four, I believe. I have the rule up here. So now, if I open this chest, are well, you apparently, just... Apparently, this guy starts on the board, so I didn't have to cast him. Oh, he's just uh, following you around. Yeah. So if I open this chest, next turn, are you just going to jump over, grab it, and run away? Considering I move the first three guys, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Entirely okay. possible. So that's not necessarily a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, in that So the case... Paladin hits for 10 white dice? Holy crap, dude. Accuracy is only three, so that's not great. But if he hits you, he hits like a truck. I have one pain token for... You start with a pain token. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking Here, we'll give you a bunch of these black tokens. These, these look like pain tokens, right? Sure. So I have one right now, and I get one every time I take damage. Yeah. Which uh... is... So that's his mechanic. The more you hurt him, the better he actually gets. Yeah. I think I will just, in this point, do an action for defense with him as well. You're not going to open it up? It feels like a really bad idea. <laughs> Why, <open>? Mike? <laughs> um, yeah, I think... So when it says full round action, does that mean I just do that instead of doing anything else? Yes, yeah, so that's a full... It takes a full round to do that. Okay. I don't think I have this open here. I might. Plus, he has Zealous Strike. You apparently have Zealous Strike. Is that what you see it? What, on uh, the Dark Knight? Oh, no. The, oh, that's my Paladin is Zealous Strike. Oh, dude. He's gross. <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, yeah, I'll just, yes. I'll just defend with him as well. You're going to defend as well? Yeah, there's nothing else to do. But he's up in a more advantageous position. He, he is for sure. So I will defend with him as well. Going to go with... Uh, dee, dee, dee. Just going to... And then uh, you get your J6. I do. My last model to move is Sabir, the super tank. <laughs> he is slow, but he is pretty good. So Sabir's abilities want him to be in combat. So I want to get him up there as quick as I can. Most of my stuff doesn't even have an action keyword. <laughs> um, I have the same heritage ability that your dwarf does. If I get knocked out, I pop back up with one hit point left. Uh, so I can move ally within reach. Successfully hit. So I can no blow unanswered, which is pretty cool, which is a reaction. I think I really just got to move him forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. No, we're gonna go two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Hey there, big bug boss dude. Hey sailor. I'm coming for you, Chief. Uh, how far is Aloya or how far is Canthus's move? Four. Does he have reach? I don't believe so. Because charge doesn't give you extra movement, does it? No, but it gives you advantage and plus some power? I believe so, yeah. So then I'm going to move back one, so you're going to have to spend an extra to charge me. You would. Yeah, because I'm sneaky. And that is my final one. Then we go back to the top. Yeah, so go ahead with Now, your... because I delayed... I also delayed. You though. also delayed. But you delayed later in the round than I did. I did. So now I can't recall if it's the later delay goes last. I think the higher delay still gets to act last. The advantage of high, having a higher initiative. Because I think we go back up. You could just Reese be making could, these up. I have no I'd idea. I'd totally be making it up. 
Um, but that's this guy out here, which is actually my uh, my gambler, which is Pascal the Gambler. So I still only have one action on Pascal, which none of my stuff matters. Um, but really, Pascal just wants to move up. So I'm just going to move one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five to there. Go ahead. Cool. Um, it's your scoot at the back. Yeah, right? it's just the scoots. You go in order. There we go. So we're going in order. Okay. Which makes sense. That makes it nice and easy. I'm just looking at everything is... I'm going to see if I can look up. Medium range for him by the looks of it. So, not much to do. I think I'm going to get to a position where I'm, maybe I can start affecting uh, some stuff over here. So... He moves four. I already used one action to have him delay. Mm -hmm. So he'll just go to here. That's four. And you're done. And I'm done. All right. That makes it easy. So we start round two. Yes, it does. I am just going through. I think chests are against a finesse of four. I believe so. All right. So then that ends turn one. We still have stuff. Congratulations. Congratulations. Way, way, way to get through the first turn. Turn one, baby. How long did that take, Owen? Half an hour-ish? 40 minutes? But, you know, we're reference, doing a lot of referencing and... So that goes back see, to... I can see how this game would be very quick once you... Once you understand yeah. the mechanics and the characters, because we're sort of playing with these new characters, and I'm excited because they're really neat. They can do some cool stuff. Um, it really does change how, how it rolls. So I start with Aloyan, who is ethereal, which is pretty cool. So I can't uh, interact with him at all then? Physically, no. But didn't it only last a turn? Uh, it is his turn now. Oh, okay. So it would be till so the I end believe, of his... Because uh, who was it that made him? It was Jemdar, wasn't it? Jemdin? Maybe it'll be till the beginning of Jemdin's turn. I believe it goes till the beginning of Jemdin's turn, yeah. Because it is an unlimited. Uh, it's an inspiration, not a not a, a whole turn. I believe inspirations only last a single turn. So that will yeah. fall off. Yeah, game-long inspirations are blessings. Yes, so this is just an inspiration which will last for his basically his next activation, which means I can move through the wall is what it comes down to. Cool. So that's what I'm going to do. So first things first, I'm going to start with... Oh, man, I have some interesting stuff I can do here. Uh, I'm going to cast... Turn my transmuter staff with my kinetic transmutation. So it's a standard casting action. I'm just going to not move, and I'm going to do that. Because I need to make him better. But I want to move him through here. Because he moves pretty good. He moves five. Ah, that's great. And he go and he just ignores all that height, yeah. too, which is one, great. Yeah, one, two, four, five. I can put him there. I can go one, two, three. I think I'm actually going to swing him wide this way. One, two, three, four. And then put him up top here. And I was just going to ask, can you go inside the building? Uh, technically, no. <laughs> and I'm going to bring his little spell node with me. They locked the doors move before through. you guys I locked the up. doors before I got there. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be his move. And then I think I'm going to actually cast. Because I don't, I, I don't want to do my, my, my spell cast one. What's the range? Medium range on leaden boots. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cast leaden boots. You can cast through that guy. Yeah, I cast through my spell node. Ooh, not to that guy. Yeah, so you know what I'm going to have to do? I want to be within medium range to be able to do it. But I don't think I'm there, so then I'm going to have to keep him moved back to do that. There we go. So I can't move as far as I want to in order to stay in range to cast that. But Leaden Boots, we're going to start with. Now, this is casting action. Mm -hmm. It is uh, target defense reflex. And this is a metaphysics action at medium range, which means, what is your reflex on Aloyan or on uh, Canthus? Reflex. You mean evade? Uh, would be your will, fort, fort will damage action. That would be your evasion, I guess. Yeah. What? Is that what reflex comes down to? He's not about that dodge in life. He just wants to take it. And where's Aloyan? Let me reach here. Let me reach Len boots persistent target defense reflex. It's got to be. Got to be that. I don't see a reflex stat, do you? Dex? Not yet. Evasion? Finesse? 
I guess it would be probably your, typically your, your, it's your evasion. And it would make sense. And what is your evasion? One. All right, so. But he does have defense. So I have an, or is my metaphysics of four? So it's two dice, metaphysics of four. And this says reflex. I think that must mean something else. Target defense. I'm not sure what reflex is. So reflex, we're going to go with, you want to call it evasion? That makes sense. Makes sense. Reflex, reflex seems like a, evasion seems like a evasion? reasonable uh, yep. so stand that's in. Evasion one? Yeah, takes out one dice. So I should be able to do this. Oops, keep him in the track. I mean, yes. You can roll like total junk. Oh, I got a potential critical. But it goes off. Okay. So you receive a unique curse, or yeah, evasion. There we go. We got the confirmation from the man himself. That is movement reduced by one. Apologize for us getting some of the rules wrong, guys. We're still dealing with some prototype stuff. The best part about Kickstarters is we iron things out. I mean, what, even the dice the mechanic point? changed from when we played it to when we play it now. So, Mr. Canthus yep. is now moving at three. Moving at minus one. Uh, how is this a uh, curse? So it's all game. Uh, this is okay. a curse. Yeah. So curse is a uh, unique curse. Movement reduced by one. Yeah. Until it gets shaken by somebody else, and I don't think you've got anybody that can stop me from doing that. That's in range. So how do I shaken it there off? There are abilities to remove curses. Okay. So that can happen. But that is my first activation. Okay. Now I get to my second activation, which is my gambler, which is over here. Gambler has a unique ability, Senor Pascal. So I can do uh, at melee range for a standard action, automatically disarm and open a treasure chest. Pretty sneaky, right? What's disarm? That's the ability to open a treasure chest. Oh, just disarm. Okay. Yeah, they're was... always armed. You have to disarm them no matter what. Okay. So the big clunky dudes are not good for disarming them. Fair enough. Your speedy guys are. However, the big clunky goods are great for taking and holding them. Okay. So I am going to start with the gambler's first action. The gambler is going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with my automatic first free action. I'm going to... Um, get the lucky inspiration. It's mechanics action, allied model. Oh, wait a minute, I can't, maybe I can't. Allied model at short range. Yep, I'm going to give my, Sabir is gonna get lucky. That's gonna give him a bonus as per the chart. And then I'm going to, cause that's a free action. I'm gonna move five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to use my, where is it? There it is, compound mechanic action, a move action. Smoke cloud, set it to the square it occupies, and then a move action, which ignores opportunity. Ah, so then what I will do, no, I'm not gonna do that. Does not make sense. I free action, I've moved. I don't think I have any range with her. I do not. Oh, medium range pistol of the gambler, all right. So if I go to here, then I can shoot you. I will shoot you. <coughs> Big range pistol from the gambler. It says two red. Oh, it does some serious damage. My accuracy is three. What is your evasion, sir? On Canthus. Evasion of one. Yeah. So I lose one of those dice. Here we go. That is a hit. Mm -hmm. This is the guy who grants advantage right now. I have no advantage against you, so I don't get a critical hit. I just get a hit. The damage on these is actually two red plus my power. Okay, and I have defense plus uh, damage reduction of two. Damage so damage, I have damage reduction three. Because you are defending with yeah. Kansas, right? Yeah. So then I believe, I don't think you can change my red dice. I think you can only change my white dice. Okay. Reese will convert that in a second, but it's only three damage. If it is, otherwise it would do nothing to you. Well, I mean, he is armored. He is armored. Uh, I do three. Okay. Because the thing about red damage is you cannot take, you cannot remove reds. You mean oranges? Reds. Oranges you always roll in actions, reds you always roll in damage. Okay. Yes, you see a crab. The crab is super cool. But you'll notice like the red damage dice are like two at most typically, and some focus spells go up to four. Red just ignores your armor completely. So red dice are really strong. 
I only have one power on the gun, though. She kind of sucks. But I hit you with my pistol. Yeah, it did three damage. Even Middle though uh, uh, the defense did nothing. <laughs> ah, these uh, goggles, no, they dropped, do nothing. It dropped, dropped my white dice. Yeah, but the, the having two damage reduction would have done that anyway. So the most I'm ever going to do against him is like four or five damage. But the problem is the moment you run up and smack me, I'm squish. <laughs> Monk, here we go. Catch you, whale. Boom, boom, boom. Here he comes. All right. Now I don't know what to do with him. Um, he can go toe to toe. Catch you, whale. He's got some cool stuff he can do. So I think what we're going to start with. I can ignore terrain. I can tiger stance. I can almost parry with one activation each turn. So I'm going to start by moving one, two, three, four, five. Ketchuwayo is going to move to there. And his finesse is actually pretty high. His dex is two. Hmm. <laughs> and then I can go. I can't quite get to charge there. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. I was here. One, two, three, four, five. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I'm going to do. So I was here. It's here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. I'm going to run him all the way into the corner. Okay. Running away, running away, running away. Okay. I'm done. Oh, this guy was on two. You get one, two, three, four, five dudes in a row, Mike. Yeah. So this guy's completely uninteractable. I can't uh, attack him or... He's I could, ethereal. I could curse until him. Until Jim Den starts. Yeah, you can curse him, yeah. But I There's can't, nothing physical. I can't attack him. Who do you have that heals anything? Um, my Demon Hunter, I believe, does heals. And I think that's it. The Arcane Trickster might. Often Paladin-type characters will heal. Subir? Let I mean, me look at his abilities. I haven't had a chance to read my own skills, so... <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a, normally we play with less, but we're just kind of running everything just because it makes it easy. He does not heal. He does his right, extra damage. So, let's see. Who do I have first? He currently is lucky, play. though. Uh, M2. That'll be an old sorcerer here. Can you pass me those sheets? These ones? Yes. Here you go. I want to make sure that I remember what lucky does. Scooty Puff Jr., what Scooty are you going to do? Scooty Puff Jr. Yeah, once we play these more... Um, it becomes a little bit more intuitive. But what I really love about it is how cool the models are, except when you're ham-handed like me. Uh, Sabir has lay on hands, apparently. So you can touch a guy. And... No blow unanswered. Oh, it's on the second page. There it is. Ah, because it got printed on the second page. Yes, yeah, so he can lay on hands. Uh, two red dice plus his power. All right, let's see. The only only character I could possibly attack would be this guy, maybe. Would be my gambler. Who's not that tough? So go one, two, three, four. Actually, it's just three. Be one, three. This is the scroot. Yeah. No. Why not? Four. Um, Glory to the Robo Crab. Yes, the Robo Crab is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of my favorites on the table. So, um, so he moved, and then he will do Magic Missile. Okay. And I'll shoot that guy. Perfect. So, how does Magic Missile target metaphysics versus what? Metaphysics versus evasion. My evasion is nine. So his evasion is nine. Yep. And what's his evasion? Sabir's evasion is two. Can you get one more square to get close to me? Oh, I think you're in, yeah. I think I'm in. Um, Sabir, Sabir's evasion is two. I'll shoot Sabir. Then. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, let's see if there's anything better. All opposing models in range and line of sight take three. Oh, it's once per game. Yeah, so if you've got... Oh, it's only short aura, though. Mm, short range. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, facts. So Plus, we... Instead of wasting time, I'm just going to uh, shoot severe. Shoot severe. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So is my he... evasion is two. He's armored? No, that's... He, he is um, lucky. Oh. I couldn't find lucky. But he, it, had, he, he had the buff. You didn't find on. it? Oh, it's right here. 
Is it? Oh yeah. It's no, no, uh, I didn't find the, mo the oh, token. Okay. Yeah, the token. What does it do? Uh, it lets me reroll action dice on an attack roll. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll shoot. I'll shoot that guy. Why not? So I do that by I conjure three magic I missiles a, and a roll them. Campaign co-op is so good. At their enemies, each deals two red damage. And if you throw them all at me, then it goes two, three, four, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, it increases by one, yeah. So I might as well just pass it around then. You could, because I, my damage reduction to three means nothing because it's red dice damage. But you still have to hit me. Right, so I'll do one on him and two on him. Then. Okay, so one on him? Yeah. Uh, what's your metaphysics? Because I it, assume it's metaphysics. Yeah, my metaphysics is six. six. Evasion is nine. So I just get these. Those and three blues. Because if you roll any skulls, it automatically fails and misses him. Why? Because my defense is higher than your offensive capability. Oh, okay. Didn't so that, that you have a negative three effectively to your d20 roll. Okie dokie. So this is on uh, the gambler this is then? on the gambler, Pascal. No skulls. No skulls. But I just uh, didn't get any No crits. hits either. So the swirlies I don't think help me in this uh, situation. Because you're not accurate. There are things that help with swirlies. Yes, but, but uh, I don't think it's <laughs> Give him a swirly. <laughs> give, him a, give him a swirly. Okay, a swirly. so, and then six. And my evasion is two. And so I lose two white dice. Yes, and you're looking for an explosion. Well, you hit me. Take that out of there. So I hit you. You hit me. And That's all that matters four, is you five, hit. Nope. Six. Different roll. Oh. So you have hit. There's no criticals. But it's a hit. Okay. Now, how much damage does that spell do? Uh, oh, it, because I hit you with two of them, it'll be three red dice. So you, now you roll your three red dice, and that's how much damage you do. Add up the total swords. Come on, nine. Uh, six. Six damage, which is huge damage. So he goes down to 15 hit points. Because I cannot stop red damage. That's pretty good. Okay. Scoot is done. Who's next? Who is next? It's a great question. I think it's my Jaguar King. Ah, uh, Tatama. The Shagwire. The Shagwar. I like Tatama. I think he's got a cool background. Yeah. Well, this guy's really annoying. Isn't he, though? I'm gonna come punch you in the bum. Yeah, you're, he's gonna do the thing that he's supposed to do, which is punch, punch light targets, which I 100% am. Uh, now I'm just gonna curse somebody. So Tatama, Tatama. all medium range. And I can't see you, so I thought you I have had some out of line of sight stuff, but it doesn't look, I can't seem to find it. So mm. I'll assume that this, it doesn't, oh, okay. This one here, stuff for the curse, doesn't require line of sight, but I have to have cursed somebody already. Ah, uh, yes. That's the, that's the deal. The, uh, the sets, when they come in, will have actual cards. So we'll be able to flip through the cards and do the actions. We're working off the spreadsheets from the pre-printed. So it's we are looking at sheets more than we normally would, but pretty cool game, though. Like, you it, see how it starts to, OK, yeah, two, one, minus, yeah, OK. Mm. Now, keep so, in mind, that guy's vulnerable. So the next attack against him is going to get advantage. It was uh, him. Oh, it's him. That's right. You're, yeah. you're strategist. Yeah. Then I have to stay within an inch of this, and it can move one, the totem. Uh, I can move through friendly characters, yep. and he moves five, so one, two, three, four, puts me here. Yep. Oh, I don't want to go there. Is that, can he move one that way, or? He can always move one square, and whether or not it's supposed to, yeah, he can move one diagonal. Otherwise, he would be very limited in how he can move. He would move one. I think the lim the rule is if you can only move one square, you can move one square in any direction. Yeah, so in that case, I uh, will curse this guy. Curse this my the gambler. Only thing in range. Okay. And um, I don't think I have anybody to debuff with that's close enough. So I can you. make you enfeebled or festering wounds. Now uh, enfeebled is probably the only one that matters. What's enfeebled do? Uh, it makes you have a power of zero. Oh, nice. 
But you seem to be shooting pistols pretty heavily. <laughs> so, to be fair, his power only starts at one. <laughs> okay. Well, that sucks. I don't think I have... That's not a special action, is it? No, it's not really okay. worth doing, but I, I... Does he have a range attack? That'd be on his data sheet. No. 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 So probably should have enfeebled that guy. What? Move her back. That's fine. I don't even know where I was. I do. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> it's close enough. Yeah, so I need to be in that square. I, I can't. Festering it's... wounds can't be healed by any means, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, so that could do it to him, but then this thing uh, is can't keep up. So I have to go this way. Ah, uh, I see. I have no choice. I guess you could abandon the totem, right? I don't know what happened. Does it disappear? I think it just disappears. And then you just summon it back. What does it even do for me? Uh, I believe it's a spell casting node. So I can cast from it? I think so. Reese, that's got to be how that works, right? Because I didn't quite see it on the data sheets, but... It says it moves one square. Uh, only... Get the bonus. Well, what's the Fresh bonus? Wounds does seem very, very nasty. Hey, Owen, how many people we got watching us fumble through the game right now? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crow, 922 views. Watching me and Mike make mistakes. It just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to do anything. It just, it even says here at low levels, it doesn't do anything. So do like characters level up as you play oh, the yeah, game? Oh yeah, absolutely. You can oh, get okay. quite a bit level. So does it matter? Eh, screw it. It gives you long range, so it's in the notes. Ah, in your notes. Ah, there it is. From the notes you sent us. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. I've, I've been bombarded by, like, sheets and there sheets and sheets and sheets of stuff when uh, I showed yes. up. Ah, yes. So, Tatama, once he does, not moving much, puts nasty long debuffs on opponents. He uses Suffer the Curse to hit them anywhere on the board. Later in the game, ditch it and go for objectives. So, anywhere on the board. So, he gives you may, long range. Maybe that's where I was confused with no line of sight. Ah, that's, that's what it probably is. probably what so, confused me So, before. if it was long range and we go back here, you can literally just move there, move him there, and now target her. Yeah, I can target her. Because if it's long anyway. range, long range is the entire board. That's where you saw that. Yeah. So, now you can absolutely debuff my demon hunter. Yeah, I will, um, I'm a, I'll enfeeble her. That's not a bad idea. That or Festering Wounds would be the two to go with. Yeah, well, she's not had any damage yet anyway, so it's irrelevant. True, but she only's got 14 health. Um, Save it. Debuffer. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. That's no, all good. I'm going to go with my original plan. Okay. You're going to debuff him? Yeah, I'll debuff him, and I, yeah, I'll go with Enfeeble. Okay. Um, and that's my turn. So Do I have to roll does it? Does it automatically go off? What does it say? The enfeeble one, casting action. Okay. It's an instant, no defense. You just have to successfully cast it. Yep. Right? So, so I have six metaphysical. So it's a casting action. So it's literally six dice and so two six orange. six dice and two orange. Minus... But if you're not moving, it automatically goes off. Okay. And I don't have anybody in range that can stop And then that. it's minus the four. Nope. Right? It won't matter now because you're not, you, you moved. And then it's not a full round action. It's no. just a casting action. Yeah. Which means your second action is to cast. Yeah. You cast it automatically. When would I not cast it automatically? Um, if you move cast. Try to do both at the same time. It's the oh, sorcerer. Oh, like in the same action. In the same action. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you move, then you cast, and it automatically succeeds. I don't have anything that can stop that either. Because Sabir doesn't have anything that can reaction. You, sir, are enfeebled. I am enfeebled. You'll be a rogue, why not? So that power zero? Yeah, you become and power zero. And that's a curse? And you're cursed, yeah. So that's it's cursed for the rest of the game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, next guy. Next guy. Whoop. Three. The Warlock. All right. Hee <laughs> hee You got quite the jam up dudes, don't you? Yeah, and nothing... Nothing super jumping out there, right? No. Well, I can see how it's supposed to work, but I... I'm seeing it after I'm quite, doing it is the problem. Not quite in range to deny those. This guy does combat.
Uh, keyword is actually economy range. Okay, medium range, physical attack. So if I put him here, mm -hmm. I will do Hellblast at medium range. Okay. Uh, it's range attack. Uh, medium range affected opposing model takes four damage dice plus okay. power damage. Perfect. And it is metaphysics or it is accuracy or how? It is it? physical action type. So it's your accuracy versus what's the defense? Oh, so if you go, if you look and it says uh, range, action economy, action keyword, action evasion. modifier. Perfect. So it's against my evasion. So my yeah. evasion is two. And my accuracy on the Warlock, uh, Dexeroth, is four. So you get uh, two orange, two white. And I just need a crit. Yes. That explosion tells you you hit. hit so it. you hit. And how much damage dice do you do? Uh, four damage dice. So it does just four damage plus your power, right? Yes. So four white plus... Uh, power of three. Of three, which four is seven. Four white... Plus three of these? Yes. All right. Minus three, because my damage reduction is three. Okay. And that's how much damage you would do. Pretty good. Uh, six. Six damage. Oof. Okay. That stings. Okay, so that was a move and an action. Yeah. And that Next was... Next guy. Now we're doing five... The Artificer. With the crab lady. Yeah. Does the crab disappear if she dies? Nope. Okay. But once crab's gone, it's gone. When do I get to use the crab? Like now? Yeah. Crab activates when she activates. Okay. So the crab's move is five. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I can charge this guy. One, two, three, four, five. I can. So yeah, Crab's gonna go here and then charge this guy. There you go. As my second action. Bring it, brother. Bring it. So Crab has, I believe I've read somewhere that he has dual. It's on it so he can dual wield. He, he has dual wield. Okay. It doesn't actually say that here. It does. But it yeah, mentions it. Four dice melee for damage. And his accuracy, I think is two. Okay. Um, yeah, so you basically just roll it twice. I just roll it twice? Yeah. Okay. So you do first attack, accuracy two. And, but that would be versus your something? My evasion of five. Okay, so I get none. And then you actually have to roll three uh, blue dice okay. and the chance to fail. So first one. Fails. Critical, the, critical skull. Skull, skull fails, yeah. And then the second attack. Second attack, boop, boop. No skulls. No and skulls. I got a crit hit. But not that that maybe matters, but, but it's it a hit. hit. And you do two damage plus four, right? Your guess is as good as mine. I think it's four damage plus your power once you do five. Okay. Five dice of damage. I'll mm. take it. I'm actually going to attempt to blade turn. You would. <laughs> which is a parry effect. Uh, now, if I remember how to do parrying. It's on the, yeah, it's on the sheet there. Uh, so I roll half as many power dice as you have damage dice. So how many damage dice do you have? Uh, five. So I roll three... Or two and a Defense half. Do you dice. want me to cut one and a half for you? I roll three. It's always roll up. So you roll your five dice. Oh, that's Cox dice. Yep. Interesting. Oh, that was just, yeah. Okay. And then I roll. So you block skull, three of them? Skull, or defense, 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 defense. So I take two. Okay. So in the damage step, the critical roll doesn't do anything, and that's just for hitting. Yeah, so basically what a critical would do is it would swap out a white dice with a red dice. Oh, and the but red I don't dice have any advantage, which you is what you You don't have any need. advantage. That's oh, no, economy. you charged. Oh, I do have, charge. I do have advantage. You did charge, so you so, would have had a critical. So, you know what? It would have replaced the white dice. I couldn't have blocked it. It's two dice anyway. I take the two damage. It all works out the same. I couldn't have blocked the red dice, but I blocked everything else. You did the one white dice of damage. One white dice of damage, but then I would roll this. You would have rolled that in place of a white dice. Does that make sense? We can do the no, sequence over. It doesn't because, so I rolled five dice. Yeah, we'll do it again. Uh, so you get four power dice, one power dice, right? Yeah, and one of them rolled the, the crit And you thing. got a critical, so you swap one out. Now you roll them. That's your damage. 
Oh, now sorry. I was, I, mean? I was seeing it in a different step because I was looking gotcha. at the dice when we rolled the white ones, mm. and I was like, oh, then I pull this out. No, no it's when you, you roll the damage. The, yeah, so the hand. difference is that it, I gotcha. it's the damage, so damage. It's effectively the same. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's a that's gross. That guy's nasty. Who's next? Was that your M4? That was I. I no, she still, still got her. She still got to go. Yeah. Well, she's so a this thing shooter. will be not ethereal next turn. Uh, pretty shortly, yes. And so, I, she's the one character I haven't had a chance to actually look at. I was just all excited about the Robo Crab. He's too, he's too cool. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, deep wounds and armor piercing. Well, that all sounds good. Standard action. Ooh, she has a free action ability. Which is? Um, affected allied models gain a unique inspiration. They gain armored one. So you can give somebody armor that's within short range, is it? Yes. So as that free action, she'll give herself. Is it allied model? I can't remember if you it do it It does yourself. say allied model. Is she not considered an allied model? I think she's a friendly model on an allied. That was something that we stumbled over a bit, but That's for fair. purposes of this... I, I don't know. I mean, I can pick something well, else, but... Well, Reese can correct us, but I would honestly, the guy who's vulnerable, I would give him the armor. Yeah. That seems reasonable. Um, or the crab, but whatever. Yeah, yeah so I might as well just do it to him, because okay. he's vulnerable. And then... Um, Scott's to get shooting. Scott's to get the shooting. This guy's got evade nine? He does. So we're going to just give that. Evasion two, he's armored. I've got inva evasion jealousy over here. Here. Armored. I'm going to give him a heat. I know he's lucky. He's also defended right now, but yes. it doesn't really matter. Yeah, ally does not include herself. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was something about that. So I just need to move one forward. Okay. To be in range of my demon hunter. Yeah. What's her evasion? A demon under evasion is two. However, she's got some reactive stuff that she can do. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I might as well dig some kind of pot shot at you with sure. that super cool cannon. You totally can. I think do I'm you gonna... have? Is this a special action or is this just an attack action? So she has a uh, loop called diminish equipment at a medium range. It would be versus your fortitude, and it makes your damage reduction minus one. Oh. Uh, is that for the rest of the game, or just like a turn? Is it a curse? No. Affliction. It's an affliction. I think it says afflictions are just one turn. Yeah. So in that case, I'll just shoot at you. I think I actually have to be here. That works, yeah. Pew! Yeah. Okay. Unless it's like from anywhere. Like, does it matter? You could probably shoot up to here. Because if I go there and... Yeah, that's oh, okay. a little I think that's how I measured it. I just keep yeah. seeing the terrain weird. Um, okay, so I'll just shoot her gun. Right? Boom! That's good. Why not? So accuracy of three, I get five white dice at medium range. Accuracy three? Yes. Why, oh, five white dice is on the power of the effect. I, yeah, I guess so. So it's two dice plus three white. So two orange? Yeah. And, My evasion's and, two. Okay, so I lose two white dice. Yeah, and you're looking for a hit. You need the explosion symbol for it. I got two of them. There you go, baby. And one was a was the black crit, so I get to put the red dice in. Uh, if it's a critical, if you have advantage, I believe. Right. Okay. Yes, I don't have advantage to, to switch out on this. Double checking. Okay. No, that's that's what we did the last time. Yeah. Advantage makes it a critical, which we don't have advantage. You're not shooting me in the back. Uh, I'm not penalized for any reason. So, five. Uh, do you have damage reduction to remove from uh, Demon Hunter has damage reduction of one. Okay. So, it's four dice. I'm on big money. That's Ooh. pretty good. That's pretty good. That's seven. seven. Well, that takes her down to seven. A peg? Just a bit. Just a bit. All right. All right. I see how it goes. I see how she rolls. Are you finally done? Yes. <laughs> one, I two. Am. Four. Now it's my demon hunter's turn. All right. Oof. <laughs> you really got me pinched in a corner here, man. Uh, Aluvia, the demon hunter. Now well, what to do? This guy's got him pinched in a corner. <laughs> Feel free to uh, interact with oh, yeah. the chitty chat there. Crank my neck to look at all this. What are you guys yeah, going Aluvia on about over has here got chat. short range, weapon range, short range. I can give her I'll lucky. Finalize all the rules. That's a great question. 
I mean, I just got here today to read any of them for the first time, so it's, it's kind of a... It's Honestly, once you start playing, it does roll really well, but I think most of it is finalized at this point. It's close, yeah. Yeah. Minor changes and such. The dice and, mechanic you know, is just finalized. In, in those minor improvements. Yeah. The thing is, we're kind of reading, I would say... Not necessarily the finished product. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, but then we're just seeing some some holdovers from old terms that have been replaced, like yeah. uh, what was the the Re vague and reflex? And yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're close, right? You you get it. I don't know what to do with Olivia here. All right, no, so the minis are just amazing. Yeah, uh, they do look fantastic. Deny special abilities. Yeah, I want to get up to there. I want to get over so that she can pull debuffs because I can get rid of stuff, right? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by moving the demon, moving her one, two, three, four, five, six, just straight laterally. Uh, she has some stuff that I can do in, that's reactive. I have weapon ranges. Um, I have. He's no. I don't <laughs> think he's no longer vulnerable because that's just an affliction that drops off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Try to use. You will try. It's a range of it's instant will throw action. Target defense is will. I think you can basically you're at the point where you can order it yourself, but I guess Reese will tell you. The Kickstarter is up for like, do they know when they're going to ship? Uh, the goal is by the end of the year, actually. Nice. So I'm going to, he's cursed or he's afflicted? He's cursed. So I think there's a difference between an affliction and a curse. Yeah, his curses last the whole game, and afflictions just one turn, or one uh, game turn. Uh, it's a game long affliction. That's a curse. So I can still remove the curse, the affliction. A game long affliction is called a curse, but it's still an affliction. Okay, so you actually have a way to get rid of a curse. Uh, yeah, but I, it's only her that can do it, and it means I can't heal with her, because she actually has a throw and heal, it looks like. She sure does. So throw action at short range. It's a standard action. Is he within short range? Yes. He's within short range. Okay. So I'm going to throw can my... Miss? Can you fumble this? My decoction. I don't think so, no. Standard uh, action. Actually, we're throw hard action. Work cursing that guy. Uh, throw guy. action at short range. Target defense will. There's no defense. I'm, I don't want to defend. So it's heals two red on my gambler, who hasn't actually taken damage, but removes affliction. I don't think I actually have to roll for it. Because it's a standard action. Just in case I do, it would be my accuracy. Just in case I do, I succeed. Just in case I do. So, Demon Hunter's done. Affliction is removed. That's big. That is my fourth one. And then my fifth one is my Arcane Trickster. Gemden, who is mirrored. And she's got two that automatically succeed. I can give somebody Ethereal. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast. I'm not going to move her. She's going to cast Arcane Trickster. She's going to use Ethereal Form on my my um, Demon Hunter. Mm -hmm. So she's going to make her Ethereal. Right? And then she has... Can she be hit by spells if she's Ethereal, or is she... I believe so. You just can't be hit by physical. You just can't be hit by physical. And then I can move and shoot my wand, which is medium range. Pass me the medium range modifier, please, sir. Are you right? Medium range. So, two, three. I'm gonna hit the uh, guy behind Canvas, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it's medium range, range attack. That is gonna be my, I would say my accuracy. Versus my which is accuracy of four versus your evasion. Five. So I'm rolling one blue dice. Why is it only one blue dice? Because uh, I have accuracy four. Oh, okay. Five I'm... minus four is one, one neg. No, I get it. Just every time that I, I was, I had to roll three. Uh, because he was evasion nine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that makes him really slippery. 
So in this case, no skull, but one hit. So I hit you. Mm -hmm. It does two white dice. Okay. And my power is four. One, two, three, four. What is your damage reduction, sir? Just one. Just one? So it's not uh, a five dice? Oh, and I get something for being adjacent to this. Uh, from here to here, no. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Two, four, five, six. Okay. With her wand. Down to nine. Do you see how quickly stuff actually gets hurt? Oh, yeah. Once we get to combat? Like, it took us a while to get to the first turn, but now suddenly it's like, holy crap, everybody's gonna die. So to, to, to retouch, Ethereal mm. has moved over, is still lucky, so I'll get to do a, a reroll shenanigans, but that is her turn. It is Canthus's turn, who is minus one to move. Yeah, which is nasty, and he's cursed, and I have no way to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can get rid of some of the curses. I haven't seen any way for any of my guys to do Matt, it. Matt, unfortunately, they don't. Um, they don't have any um, marks, but you could put a little mark on the front to denote what's front and what isn't. Oh, uh, it should be this guy before Cathus. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, because you have... Oh. Did you not move him yet? We never did. This oh, you guy, didn't. Evidently. Oh, we didn't move him. Okay, let's move him now. So, um, yeah, he'll. The, the only character after him is Cathus, so yeah. he'll, he'll. My bad. We jumped he'll ahead. He'll him. You had so many dudes in a row. Yeah. So he's going to haste Cathus to give him the extra action? Well, let's take a quick look at his other skills. So, <clears throat> he's, he's got three shouts one is free. Yeah, he's really kind of cool. What you'll notice, folks, as we're playing this, is that each kind of character has its own specific play style. Canthus and Sabir want to be beating the crap out of each other, so they're literally just running forward to try to smack each other. Oh, okay, I need to use this. Whereas I'm at a bit of a disadvantage, power level-wise. I need to be tricky, and I need to get around Mike, and I need to try to open objectives and get away with them. The challenge we're facing right now is Mike is super tough in the middle of the board, and it's entirely possible that in two turns he blows me off the table, which I'm totally cool with, because this is a fun game. So, uh, yeah, so I move yep. four. four. So it'll go one, two, three yep. to here. Yep. Um, and then as free action, he'll give that guy uh, the extra action. He'll shout. And then he'll try and open the box. So that's going to take his standard action to open the box. What is your... Do uh, I have to disarm it? Yes, you got to disarm it. What's your dex? Probably terrible. Um, you mean finesse? No, I think it's actually dex. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, it's zero, so... <laughs> All right, so I'm going to find the actual rules for this, because I know we tweaked it a little bit. Uh, DD, I had it screen capped, and then I don't know what I did with it. I don't think he has a ranged weapon. He has reach with his spear, which makes True. sense. Uh, action threshold, which is going to be four dice. Uh, just trying to find what happens when it explodes. I'd love to do two shouts in a turn, but you can't. Hey, right? Yeah. Uh, attacks of opportunity. This armor treasure chest is within your arc and within melee range. Yes. Uh, must make a mechanics action against AT of four. So that is going to be, I believe, your dexterity. Of zero. So it's two orange and four blue. So even so if, if you... if I roll a single skull, it doesn't happen? Do I take damage or anything? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> oh, well, this isn't worth it then. Um, so it can explode. It can explode? Yep. Hurting all the guys around it. Just you. Three red damage. Three red damage. Well, okay, well, that's not worth doing at all. And it stays closed. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's what I was double checking. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't want to do that. That's a terrible plan. Reese, can you confirm mechanics action are based on dex or finesse? I'll just go here. Yeah, because he's really about controlling the battle. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him there. He's not, not, a bad he's idea. not in a terrible spot. Uh, yeah, and he'll just do that free action and then doesn't have anything else to do. Yeah, and now it's Canthus. Who's minus one move? Yeah. So he moves three? One, two, three. Two. But can I attack him from here? You can. Okay, you so... just turn to face him. Oh, so I'd have to turn that way. Yeah, so then your arc, arc of action. Wouldn't face Actually, you could, would you still could see fight him, him from here. Forward, face yeah. on. Yep. 
that he'll go here. So yes. that's one, two, three, and then it's an extra one to move up there. What's, do you have reach? I don't have reach. So then you would move and then you would charge. Oh, okay. So that's the charge is my second action. Yes. And then I get advantage and... Um, and plus one power. And plus one power. And I have two pain tokens right now. Nice. Because you've taken damage. Because I've taken damage. That guy is a little slippery weasel over there. He is a slippery weasel. Yeah. And he's got some pretty <laughs> cool abilities, so... He really kind of does. Yeah. I sort of dig him. I know I can get life back on attacks, which is good. But if I could just kill this guy, that'd be way better. It's the other thing you have to have to, in order to charge Man. to be able to see. This model has the hobbled curse. Oh, okay, I can remove a curse from him. During a move action. Oh, if he's hobbled. Oh, uh, model has the hobbled affliction or curse. Okay, so hobbled, curse, or affliction, yeah, I can remove And this it. one is specifically That's all. minus one It's not one just movement. an yeah. affliction or a curse, it's the hobbled affliction specifically. Well, no hobbly hobbles for him, but that's not really his problem. What is your uh, accuracy, sir? My accuracy for the coolest guy, Karthus, is four. Yeah, this is four, and the evasion on the gambler is nine. Ugh. Ugh. The absolute jerk. <laughs> you do have advantage because you charge. Yeah. But one, one skull kills that. What does his dark blade ability do? What I would do is do the charge first, you have to do the attack, and then you can do like the dark blade action. Oh, okay, I see. So you charge, because it's not a compound action with the dark blade. Yeah, so I just get two and three. Five. Blue dice? Because you have a, uh, accuracy four, right? So it's I do. Five blue dice. So we, can do, we can do this at home for everybody. Put your two action dice in. These two? That's what we always roll. Yeah. So those go in the tray. Then we add what your accuracy is in white dice. In my dice minus your evasion. Yeah, so your white dice is four. Yeah. That's your accuracy. And my evasion is six, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Good lord, that's all the dice. Yeah. So it's nine. So then what we do is we pull out one for one the white dice. Which is an, an elegant, simple, simple system. Yeah, and if it's one way or the other, it doesn't matter. If it's extra whites, extra blues, yeah. that's where we are. So right now, effectively, you've got a minus six if you want to look at it, or minus five in DD terms on your attack. So if I roll a single skull, I do nothing. Single skull kills it. But if you roll a black... No, single skull, I do nothing. Single skull, you do nothing. Yeah. You miss. But I have no choice. This is all I got. Yep. No skull. But I did get a crit. You did okay, get a critical so hit. And I a white dice him. is a critical, correct? A white dice is a hit. Black dice is a critical. Yeah, black dice is a critical. Or a explosion. black explosion is a crit. You successfully hit me, despite yeah. my evasion of nine. You rat fart. It's gonna hurt. This could really hurt. Uh, your damage. Uh, four white dice. Plus your power. Plus my power. Yeah. So another four. Oh man, I might have to dodge. Well, did you try ducking or diving yet? I might have to dodge before you get her back You're around like, to dodge. Plus an extra dice because you charged. Plus one power for charging. So right. Nine plus dice. Power. I have twelve hit points. Oh man, I have to. I hope I kill him. Can my awesome. gambler parry? I have offhand sword accurate. I'm, I'm gonna attempt to parry. I'm not gonna take it the face, Reese. I won't take it in the face. I will attempt to parry your attack. Do you have how many dice? Nine. <laughs> so I roll you half as many of those as damage dice. Swords block swords, shields block swords, swords etc. You're rolling nine? Yeah. Are you? Are you? I'm gonna or parry. Dodging? I'm gonna parry. Okay, do you have to... Nope, you roll your dice, and then I roll my dice. One, two, three, four, five. So, okay. I roll half the number that you're attacking with, and we match symbols like for like. Now, do you lose anything for doing that? Uh, because I have a sword, I can parry. Okay. So it depends on your equipment. If I didn't have that, I would have to dodge. Oh, man. All we right, got a double so shield. Double, double. Yeah. And then four singles. That's it's only one... Yeah. Two, three. So I still take two, four, six, eight, ten damage. Excellent. Oh no, I have two hit points. 
Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! 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 That's not good. Uh, and then you still have another attack. I do, yeah, but it depends on what I want to do. I, I mean, there's still a really high chance that I don't hit you at all, right? Yeah, because my evasion's pretty high. Yeah. I got lucky there with rolling five dice and getting no skulls. The only thing I won't be able to do is attack you back with that sword because I parried with it, right? Um, the monk gets a free parry because of his natural strike fighter combo silliness. Right. Uh, but I can't get that with, with my dude. I want to use his abilities, but I, I mean... <laughs> you might just smack me into non-existence. There's a chance. It's a slow chance, but I'll take it. What does the Dark Blade do? Uh, Dark Blade... In addition to normal damage, this model has... It, it's when I do an attack action, but I did a charge action. Mm. Uh, model heals one red dice of HP. How much damage have you actually taken? Uh, three. So I might as well do it. Yeah. So I'll spend one pain token. Yep. And I'll make my attack action. Dark blade. And I'll I'll dark blade because. And I just I, I get an I'll, I'll get to heal a little bit. Yeah. So five. <laughs> Is he a greasy oh, come gambler? On, invasion hold. Never roll a skull. Not in this blood one throne. Skull. There's one skull. There's one skull, baby. One skull. It's all I need. One skull. Yes. Fudge. I don't know what oh, that means. Did why? <laughs> That's a new symbol. That is a new symbol. New uh, symbol, Reese. I might not have hit. Is that the uh, blank? Is that the blank, or is that the unlucky? It's the, the uh, it's for X Men. It's the X Men. I yeah. actually don't know what that is. I think that might be unlucky. No result. Disadvantage caused it to be a critical fail. I think that's what that is. Dang. Yeah. yeah so no, 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 nothing, dude. Well, crumb. But I heal. Um, you do. Because uh, it doesn't, it's not dependent on you doing damage, no, it, right? it isn't. I heal three. So sure. I'm back up to full. <sighs> Crap. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get my dude up there, though. I gotta get my paladin. He has reach. So... Two, four. One, two, four. And reach doesn't get to there, I don't think. Reach gives it's me... one square. Gives me an extra square, but I don't think it does it on the diagonal. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I can look it up, but it's it's. I need to know what I'm gonna do with this now. I think it's three red dice when the chest explodes if you fail. Double check that before I move on. Which is not a good thing. Yeah, it's four over three. All right, so I'm gonna go with check my reach to be sure. I know there was an interesting. Some of the mechanics. Melee you know, range. When you reach, just make sure you. Do yeah, it reach around. doesn't give me the extra diagonal. It goes two left and right. It goes like so. If I'm on the diagonal, mm -hmm. it'll go that way, that way, and then still there. So it's that squares. So two four would be one, and then I would only get the charge in on you. Which I think is actually worth it. Like, I, th I think it's actually worth it. Bring it. Because Sabir has the ability... <laughs> mm hmm. I think I'm going to come at you, bro. Oh, so that's that's where the shield on uh, Kathis is good and his ability to remove hobbled because yeah. he can use the shield, he becomes hobbled, I get yeah, it. Th that's your block ability, yeah. So he just shrugs that, right? Well, I mean, for... It's pretty good. For some uh, Dark Eldar points. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is... I would like to do... I would like to try to hit you with Zealous Strike, but I need to get into range two of you first. Which is two, four, and then charge, and then I'm in range. I think I'm going to go two, four. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to move. Yep. And then I'm going to charge. So okay. now I'm in, because I have reach. Uh, I'm accurate, which means my swirls will count as hits. And it has the defensive ability, so I can and do some fun. And things. you're lucky. And I'm lucky. I also have an offhand dagger. So I can attack with my dagger as well, because I believe he is dual wielding. Um, I believe that's his, that's his, his shenanigans. 
How do I block? <laughs> I think that's going to be the Jazz. So we're going to go with... The Razzmatazz. I get two dice. I have my two dice. What is your evasion, sir? Oh, right. Hold on. Um, this guy has some sort of reactionary, like, stopping you from doing some ability. Uh, probably not an attack action. Probably not an attack action. But let's just look at it. So, Tarkan. Uh, inconceivable, I think is what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> or no, maybe it's you fool. Affected opposing gains stun. No, oh, wait, that's not right. The opposing model successfully uses physical special action. Ah, so it's not a special action. Medium range. Okay. Yeah, well, it's fine. a standard action. Yeah, this is a standard action. It looks like I'm the fool. <laughs> All right, you ready? No. Evasion on Canthus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, one. Okay, so four dice. Here hold, we go. Hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to see how block works. Models with weapon block keyword roll half as many uh, power dice, physical dice, as the attacker. Just like my parry, yeah. It's just like parry? Yeah. So why not just parry you then? With, um, <laughs> with the because then you can't use your sword to fight with. Oh, so he can't use his sword right now. He can't use his sword as next action. Okay. So this is my attack. Uh, my swirls count as hits, but no critical, because my weapon is accurate. Uh, I can re-roll that if I choose to. But why? Uh, I don't think I need to, because I'm doing 10 dice here. 10 dice? What is your yeah, damage well block, reduction? I'll block then. Heck You're going to yeah. try to block? May as well, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How much, what's your damage reduction on Canthus? Oh, hold on. Reese's uh, pieces is saying something here. Oh, he's talking about the other stuff. Like Perry, but better. Catholics on the iron class. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what is his damage reduction? Two? Damage reduction of the deuce. Dose. So it takes me down to um, eight dice. Okay. And then you'll roll four dice to defend that way. Okay. So my eight dice, I've got... Pretty good. Four twos, five twos, six twos, and two one. So uh, I just roll four of these then? Because uh, I had eight, so yes. So I block go. the two ones, two ones and, and one, a double. two, and then this does nothing? Yep. So you go two, four, six, eight, ten damage. <laughs> ten damage. At least I blocked some of it. You did. And I actually have an offhand weapon. So ha ha ha. I can shiv you with my offhand weapon as well, which I will. Um, oh, I forgot I charged. I had an extra dice there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going to shiv you. Hanks block One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Good. That, that makes sense. <laughs> And then, same rolling to attack. Uh, that's a hit. It is. Um, and I do not have advantage any longer, so I can't flip that. So is there no, there's no like disadvantage to Six, using three. both of your Six, combat seven. weapons at all? Um, Am I still blocking? I think I'm just minus damage. I can't quite remember. You're still blocking, okay. I would think, yeah. Let's just, if we're screwing it up, we're screwing it up. Nothing, two, four, five. And three, so roll three dice. That was two twos. And two ones. No, two twos and a one. Two twos two and a one. one. Blocked. So two damage? Two damage. That's it. Well, that's done. Hit it, though. And I'm done. That's it. Whew. We're in a rough state. I have two wounds left on my, on my um, poor, poor gambler. I'm 19 wounds on my monk. I have seven left on my demon hunter. Fortunately, she's ethereal. And my uh, my paladin's down to nine. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. But nobody's dead. Yeah. Turn four or turn three. Here comes a loyan. Here comes a loyan. Starting with a loyan. This guy's really cool, and you've kind of moved the fight away from me. So I'm a little bit concerned. Good thing he has range. Yeah, and he's buffer debuffer guy. And that is short range to do that. So I don't think I can get to short range because he moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Five won't get me there. I can move cast it. Yeah, I can Go try to crab. It. I'm yeah. psyched on I this guy. Crab is so cool. Um, I can move cast. Can stab you for two? 
Don't you forget it. Uh, so I'm going to move cast. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, and he moves with me. So I'm going to put him right there. And I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to cast from him. Um, so move, and then I'm going to cast, and I'm going to you give him barrier. So barrier means that the next attack he takes, he ignores. It's kind That's of good. a good one. So he has a barrier. Okay. And that's done for Aloyan. And then I think it's my gambler next, who is in combat with you right now. Yeah, you should like run away. Or I really don't want to be here, my dude. Let's see how opportunity attacks work. <sighs> that's a free action. So I'm going to. Um, what is the what is the finesse? What is the will on Canthus? What's the will on Canthus? Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, it's all good. Are you within? Probably. Yeah, you are. No, no, I'm I'm over here now. Yeah, I know, but I'm looking at this. Are you trying to? Can you stop that? Yeah. So I have a metaphysical reactive action. Okay. If the opposing model successfully uses a metaphysical special action. That is a, I just cast, standard casting action. No, uh, short range, barrier. That is a metaphysical, short range, standard casting action. No, not, it's not a special action. Okay, so I'm trying to do a intuitive denial. Smoke bomb. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, Reese. Yeah. That's exactly what I gotta do. I just wanna see what unlucky does. I think it makes you have, forces you to reroll. Which is kinda good. Afflictions. Unlucky or treated as critical failures. That's just a bit of a bonus. So I think what we're gonna do, Pascal is gonna do his smoke bomb. So this is a compound action. I create a smoke it, cloud a, centered a on the square. Action? It is a physical standard action. So it's probably, I guess it, I guess they all qualify as special actions. But this is, I create a melee range smoke cloud centered on the square he occupy. I can then move, ignoring attack of opportunity, and move through squares. This is a physical special action or physical standard action? This is a physical action. So I think standard, I think it's just, a, it, it, we'll call it a special action, see if you can stop it. Well, it, that matters because both of the, I can block one of each of those things. Okay. I could have blocked that if it was a, if it's a special action. And I can I block this it, if it's it, a special, but this is metaphysical and this one's physical. Because we're missing the cards, and we're listed with the type of action, I want to take a quick look and see if your action keyword is Special action any anywhere. Standard free, standard free, metaphysics, action modifier. Simple action, reactive action, free action, standard action. So yeah, go with special. Do you want to try to block the barrier? Yeah, might as well. Try. I have these. So we're gonna roll back. Abilities. You have the ability. So can you see me? I can see. Well, I can see through this, right? Up to that guy, because this it doesn't block. You still have to be able to draw the line of sight. I think you can. I think we can see our staffs and shit. That, let's go for it. Okay. So what um, is the Attack dice, what is so the for, threshold? For him it was, this one is the physical, and this one is so the we're special. So we're here, so I'm casting so barrier over here. this is from Scoot, okay. and it's intuitive denial, metaphysical, medium range, reactive action. Yep, keep going. I'm sorry, I'm just seeing if Reese has said something. It's all good. Uh, if the opposing model successfully uses a metaphysical special action within medium range and line of sight of this model, the, yep. uh, this class skill may be used. The model makes a negative action, uh, a negation action against uh, at AT of four. Perfect. So what is Scoot's negation? What do you mean That's, negation? Uh, he's got a denial. Oh, his denial. Uh, his denial is a deny of five. So that's uh, the AT four, which means it's two orange and one white, because you're higher than the threshold of four, right? Yeah. So, so now you're looking for an here. action. You get it. So no barrier. So you deny it. You deny my barrier. And then this guy tries to deny your physical, physical action. action. Okay. All class yeah. skills, yeah, especially. Okay. Thanks, Reese. So this is a class skill for my gambler. I'm using um, my smoke bomb, drop smoke bomb, um, unlimited usage. I create a melee range smoke cloud centered on the square it occupies. So you have to try to deny that with your physical dude. Yeah. So this is from Tarkan. Yep. Uh, and this inconceivable 
free reaction action. Posing model, you successfully did it. And uh, it's all basically the exact same. Exactly the same. It's exactly what same. Is it just Tarkan's happens to be deny. physical. There you go. And his deny... Three. There he is. Oh, it's four? They're, they're so dark. I know. His is four, so I just get the two. Two. See, you got it already, man. Yeah, yeah it, all, it. it all works. You deny. So Take I that. don't drop my smoke bomb. No, I can't get away. Now you die. Bugger. All right, well, shiz. <laughs> <laughs> For shiz. Um, I can try to run away still. Yes, you should do that. I can try to automatically disarm and open the treasure chest. Or I can try to shoot you. Or I can make you unlucky. So make you possibly fail more. I think I want to make you unlucky. I have my pistol. Accuracy through. Your evasion is crap, though, isn't it? And I do red dice damage. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot you in the face with my pistol. Uh, okay. I have accuracy three. What's your evasion? One. Shoot you in the face with my pistol. You did it. Go me. So it's two red dice and you're... Am I still blocking? Um, no, these are red dice. Can't block these. Oh, okay. Can't stop these. Four damage. Oh. But that does give you another pain token. I, I can't have more than two. Ah. Two. Shoot you in the face. Four. Four damage. Hurting him. Down to eight. Hurting him. All right, and that was my second activation. Well, that kind of stung a little bit. I'm going to lose my gambler, I think. Uh, monk turn. I can do a couple of things here. I can punch up your crab, or I can actually get away from him. Oh, I totally forgot I could have blinded you last turn. That's kind of neat. Uh, but what I have is oh, acrobatic. That. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's an automatic success. I ignore attack of opportunity, terrain, and can move through squares occupied by opposing models. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. You did a good lighting effect as well. Uh, yeah, I think it was CK Studios did most of these. Oh. Acrobatic baby, Reese is cheering it on. That's what we're talking about. It means one, two, three, four, five. Or I can go one, two, three, four, five. And I can be in your back arc. And I get no um, opportunity attack? No, because I'm using my acrobatic ability. Okay. So I'm going to use my acrobatic, which is a, I think it's a standard action. Nose attacks opportunity and move through squares. That may, lets me move. And then I have one action left, which would be to punch you in the face. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Is it not two up? No, I go right through it. I oh. ignore acrobatic. Gotcha. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm doing flippity dizzy so, What was the sound? It was a bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> it's actually, you know what it technically is? Parkour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's parkour. I just parkoured my way across behind your uh, artificer. I'm going to punch her right in a kidney. <laughs> yep. So that is going to be accuracy four. Evasion on your chick. Ooh. Um, four. Ah, so that's just going to be straight dice. Um, I do have advantage. Yes. For punching you in the back. So that's only going to come into effect. If you get the black one. But I don't. I hit, I hit, though, which is going to be three white dice, plus my power is three more white dice. Do you have, and because I'm in your back arc, you have no defense ability. Oh. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Uh, what's her um, armor? One? One. It gets rid of one red, or one white. And that's going to give me two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six damage to the Artificer. She is down to nine. That's what he does. Uh, and I blade turning. I don't know if I get to, because I blade turned last turn. I think he actually gets a free parry. I think his ability is a free parry. Reese can probably... They can defend parry for free. So he has two attacks when his attack action because he's dual wielding. Cool. So yeah, I'll do the same thing you, again. Don't don't forget it. I want to do the same thing again, um, which is just two orange dice. Uh, swirl, I'm not accurate, so I miss with my second attack. That ends his action, but I'm in your in your back lines now, bro. Overrated. <laughs> now we sit here while Mike moves five of his dudes. Okay, so starting with <laughs> three two, attacks. That's, uh... He says he's got three attacks? How does he have three attacks? Maybe it's a skill? How does he have three attacks, Reese? Oh, because he's got Fists of Fury. That's right. 
He makes an additional attack roll, which deals three damage dice. Um, any number of times per activation, you can use it. I complete. So he, this one will only do three damage dice, but it's still the same thing: accuracy versus evasion, which is two dice. Ah oh, ha ha! If only I'd roll that first, Mike, I would have critical. Three damage dice. Three minus, damage dice plus power. Minus one. Um, yes, minus one. Plus power. Plus power. So five. Uh, five. He is down to <laughs> four life. <laughs> He just, what He goes parkour and runs from your crab and, and then a punches the girly in the back. Ton of oh, damage. that poor mechanical chica. Yeah, Monk just gets extra attacks every time he fights. It's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. All right, Monkey's done. Okay, so. Um, this is like, oh, this is where I die. <laughs> what's the evade on the Monk? Probably nine? Uh, this guy had, what did he have? That guy's on? nine, but I'm just he had lucky about attacking the nine. The, the Attacking monk. who? The monk. I'm just curious. The monk? The monk's evasion is only five. Oh, okay. He has no armor to speak of. It's not He as does have some ridiculous. defensive reactive abilities, which I didn't do last time. He can parry. So, yeah. We're going to two for Scooty Puff Sr., the Doombringer. He basically can blind you if you punch him. Yeah, I think it's pocket sand. It's <laughs> totally Dale Gribble pocket sand. So who's going now? Uh, it's the Scoots. Scoot. And I don't think I'm gonna move him. He's in a nice position. He's to in just a good spot. Get yeah. blasted. How much life does the um, monk have right now? The monk is full. The monk's at 21. He took two life from this, two damage from this guy. Uh, oh, maybe I. No, 19. Yeah, there he okay. goes. Okay, okay, 19. So he's taken two. Yeah, he's I'm in serious peril. These guys are really tough. <laughs> okay. I still have Asian nine on him. So I'm gonna shoot the uh, magic uh, missile barrage, magic missile. Yeah. Essentially, uh, I'll shoot one here, one here, and he's not in your front arc. Oh, okay. Then one here. Okay. So she is ethereal right now, too. But right? you said magic. I believe magic hit, hits. It's, as long as it's not physical. That's a great question. Um, conjures three magic missiles. Sounds magical. Sounds magical to me. Sounds magical to me, right, Reese? <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's magic. So yeah, it works for me. Because I didn't move, this automatically happened. Yep. Um... Yeah, it says target. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy. Um, it's against evasion. Casting action, okay, boom. Metaphysics versus your evasion. So who do you want to target first? So I'll I'll, I'll start with, we'll just go this way. So we'll sure. start with her. See, the evasion on my demon hunter is two. Okay, and I'm metaphysics of six. So I get four whites and- Two orange. Two orange. Yeah, it's, Reese's got a good point. You can absolutely customize the heck out of these guys as you go. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, um, you're, you're, how you skill them up and how you give them their feats changes how they play. The hit. Okay. Uh, and then it does two red dice. You just put one into her or two into her? One. Just one? Yeah. Thump, thump. So put two one red into dice? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, here? Oh, here, here, here. Gotcha. Yeah. So two red dice into my... Three? Three into my Demon Hunter. She's down to four. Okay. And then into who's next? Sabir? Yeah. Sabir's evasion is two. Okay, so. Oh, Aloyan can deny magic. Oh, that's right. I wonder if I'm, am I in range of you? I think you were, weren't you? I might be, yeah. Yeah, what is my reactive? Casting action? Reactive denial. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm just debating. Cause you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit, you've already hit her. He, oh, he can't really take it. Two red dice. And the gambler, I'm not super worried about. I, I think I have to attempt to deny this. I think I have to. My denial is three. So here we go. Uh, I don't deny, Mike. Huzzah! I so, got the swirly. I don't deny. Dunking your head in the toilet. Yep. So she, she still takes three, which I think you already marked. Yes. We're going to this guy. Going to the paladin. An evasion two. So orange and four whites. It goes off. It's a hit. 
And it's two red. Two red. Roshak, I'm trying. I'm trying, Roshak. <laughs> two reds into him. Two damage. Two damage. All right, it's not bad. It's all right. It's okay. And then there's a good chance that I don't hurt this last guy. Yeah. So I get six, so I have to roll three. Three blues. Blues. Come on, Skulls! I'm cheering for Skull. I am not. I've been doing pretty good so far. No Skulls. And I get a crit. Not if you had matters. advantage, it would matter. But you hit me. But I don't think I can not no. kill you. Two red dice. Oh, yeah, I have two. I get three. Oh, he's dead. Mm, first kill. The fact that you actually hit him. Oh, no, he dies. That slippery weasel. I could have. I think I could have attempted to dodge that, but the chances of me succeeding are somewhere between slim and none. You want to give it a try? Nope. Good. He's dead. <laughs> that guy. You failed like me for the last time, gambler. All right. Um, and then it is, is his second ability. Um, I could have dodged. I think it's dodge is. Do you want to duck or dive first? It's equal to my evasion or something silly. Which, equal to your evasion of nine? Yeah, I would have dodged. But then I can't do anything. I'm fine with it. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, well, we played we played uh, almost two hours. Oh, wow. So, dude dies. We're learning. We're, <laughs> We're learning. learning. Dude We're learning. dies. Okay, so uh, his second ability, he'll... <laughs> Magic dwarf inside me. Yeah. So you uh, can't cast again, right? No, you can only do one cast a turn. Because you can only do the same action once per turn. Yeah, right? oh, yeah, casting action. Yeah. Okay, so he'll shoot his wand. Yeah. At medium range and um, at him. At Sabir. Yeah. Uh, accuracy? Right. Zero. All right, so you're rolling two blue dice with your orange. Here we go, baby. Uh, Roshak, I would lose my entire next action next turn. I can't do anything. Goes off. It hits. Damage. Uh, two, two red. Dice? Two red plus your power. Two or two red plus your power, which is another two white. So I I shrug the two white, but the two red might kill him. Why do you shrug the two white? Because my damage reduction is three. Okay, well, just roll them anyway, and no, then you shrug no, them. No, I don't get the white. Your whites go away. Oh, okay, because yeah, so you, I cannot get you rid can't of the block reds. the reds. Can't block the reds. That's not a bad little wand. It's pretty good. For five damage. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about objectives, everybody. Just kill the opponent. That's team. exactly what's happening, man. That hurt. OK. Well, that was just one dude. Mike's next activation. <laughs> All right, who's three? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is, this is brutal. Uh, Come out and play, Mike. It'll be fun. How much life does he have? Just two. You'll two? enjoy this. Uh, he, if he dies, though, he pops back up with one. What a boss. You'll love this, Mike. It's a fun game. Proceeds to beat the ever-loving crap out of me. I don't know what I'm doing, though. Yeah, you do. You're doing it well. <laughs> I might have played a game before, once or twice. All right, so this guy's pretty cool. He's fast. But you see how quickly, once we start to figure out the abilities, how quickly the mechanics of it start to work, right? Yes, absolutely, Reese. Planning out the initiative is important. The heroes come with a big block of, of bad guys in the middle. It's actually five of them. And it's depending on the equipment, so it's not actually the character classes innately that determine your initiative. It's what gear they have on them. Which is why tanks tend to be a little heavier, right? Heavy armor, big weapons, etc. Yeah, so I'll shoot the Hellfire Blast at him. Uh, again, I don't have anybody else that can stop it because I failed to stop you already. It's a physical. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, can Aluvia do that? Just a special action for her, yeah. She can try to deny it. Okay. Okay. Who's doing so, it? So, uh, Alluvial, my demon hunter. Yeah. Yeah, so she's going to attempt it. So you have to succeed at it first. Okay. So to do it. Uh, and he's targeting um, Sabir? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Alluvial can, Alluvial can stop anybody's abilities, which is really strong. Wow, yeah. Yeah. 
I'd really like to see her be dead right now. <laughs> um, there's a couple of characters that can do that. Four um, damage. Okay, wait, I gotta get it off first. Yes. So it is key on oh, my accuracy of four. Into a evasion of two. Okay, so I get two white dice on top of my yes. always oranges. And mm. you need to roll a hit. It's like soccer practice. Always, always oranges. oranges, yes. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, a, no, I got it anyway. You hit. Okay, so I hit. So I'm going to attempt to deny that uh, with Alluvia. Okay. The denial's four, which means I get two orange dice. Okay. That's it. I do. I stop it. Okay. I stop your ability. Hellfire Blast is no more. At least for a turn. At least for a turn. And then he's got a second second thing he can do. Yeah, uh, but now I can't do another physical attack, right? Uh, you can't do whatever the same action is, no. The only exception attack to that action. would be... So I can do attack. a shout action. Yeah, you can shout. Uh, he has shouts? Yeah. This is the... Uh, Dex, Dexroth. Dexroth, the warlock. He's so cool. Uh, model gains a unique uh, blessing plus two evasion. That's pretty juicy, actually. Uh, putting that on, if you can... Is it short range? The model. I think it's on himself. Oh, he can give himself evasion. Yeah. And then he has one extra ability here that I haven't even seen because it's on the other page. It's on the next page, yeah. yeah. Oh, he can just, like, move. Yeah. And once per game. I think if you put extra evasion on him right now, I got no way to really hurt him. Yeah. It's a self-buff. It's probably worth it, dude. Yeah. Because I'm close enough to get to you this turn. So these once a game abilities just. Roshak, there are three objectives, and my best guy to get them might just killed. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, he'll make himself. Sure. I just got to cast it. Uh, Hexagramic Ward. Um, He's. I guess he shouts out loud. Hexagramic Ward. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Disappointed. What a great actor there. Right. Thanks, Hercules. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it just it auto goes off. Yeah, it, you cast because you're not moving, yeah. so it just goes off. I, I'd actually like to move and do it. Okay, so you have to move cast. Yeah. Uh, there you go. He moves four or five. Uh, he moves six. Ooh, nice. So that's two. Oh, he's going to make his way over there. So now your move cast target is four, or your um, action threshold is four. Yeah. Which is four blue dice. What is your metaphysics? One. So not the easiest to move cast. Whatever. Is it a metaphysics ability or is it a physical ability? Uh, it's a physical ability. All right, so then that would be based on your, probably your accuracy, I believe. Okay. So. Reese might, we might be getting it wrong, but that's okay. Well, I mean, it has to be finesse or accuracy. That's basically the only choices. Yeah, I'd go with finesse. Sure, finesse. So I roll mechanic f- action. Four of these and four of these. No, no. So what's your finesse? Four. E two. Finesse is two. So then you would only roll two blue because you have oh, okay. two whites. Cancel two blues, and then it's two blues, two orange. Boom shakalaka. No skulls. No skulls. It goes off. It goes off. Succeeds with a bonus swirly. With a bonus swirly. Okay, so he is plus two evasion. Put a marker on him. He's yeah, plus two no, evasion. No, no. He's, he's, not, he's not stunned, but there's a marker. There's a marker. Okay, uh, moving to the next guy. <laughs> well, he's got two more oh. dudes to go. I'm going to mark this so that I know it's my guy. It's five. So Who funny. is that? Uh-oh. It's the artificer who's in big trouble. Big trouble in little China. Yeah. So... One, two, three, four, five. This thing moves five. So it will charge. Uh, you cannot charge me because you cannot see me. Okay. So you can move to combat. Well, it'd be better to just. So what you could do is move, it'd be better to, move to where you can see to me. Move here or whatever. And, and then, then charge. charge and you would only get the one attack with bonus. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you can't make a charge move if you don't have line of sight. If you don't have line of sight, you cannot declare a charge. Okay. Well, it's still better to do the charge because I get advantage and um, plus one power. Plus one power. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to forget the monk's special ability. You monk do, it do. up. Monk it up. So he's got. He's dual wielding. And he has accuracy of two. 
So I got my orange dice. And my evasion on my monk. Is nine. No, it's five. Five. It's five. So you're minus three. So that's three. Three blue. Three blue. You betcha. No skulls, and I hit. But no um, crits, unfortunately. No crits? Yeah. Okay, so I will attempt to parry, because I get to do that for free. Uh, so roll your damage, sir. Okay. This uh, one does have plus one damage, plus one dice. Plus one power, yeah. Yeah, and you got no extra possible uh, criticals. He has power of one, so it's just two dice plus the four. Plus your power on the on the model. Yeah, which is one. So that's three plus the extra is four. Yeah, so that's six dice altogether, and then I get to do this again. How, sorry, how is it six? Well, Wait, it's four, then plus my power oh, plus wow, one. It's four. Yeah, four, five, six. You're correct. Okay. Your first stack does six and dice. And then you're going to parry? I am, yeah, because I get to do it for free. How do you parry with uh, your fist? Because it's blade turning, special abilities. Uh, one. I got three doubles and two singles out. How many dice did you roll? Six. So I get to roll three dice? Yeah. Oh, that one is cocked. I roll, I block two doubles. Ooh, and a single. And a single. So, so he's going to take three damage. And because I successfully blocked you, you get or to parried you, slap me back. 16. I do. It's a reactive. So the monk gets standard, where is it? Reactive action. Uh, I get to make uh, a class, is class skill opposing model um, made with the blinded status for the duration of this action. Targeting the opposing model. It's a melee action made with the blinded status. What does blinded mean, Reese? I'm making with blinded? You did. Blinded. Accuracy and finesse action roll model files are zero, can't be increased. So I get to use a. I just get to try to punch you back at no power, is what I'm reading that as. Hey, you get free attack. I kind of do. Accuracy, what's your evasion? Two. So I gotta roll two dice, which I still hit. And that's no power, so it's still just my regular three dice. Because you don't have any armor, right? Oh, you have one armor. I have one armor. I'll take one of those away and I'll reroll. Just reroll, yeah. That's the same result. Yeah. So you do three damage to him? Three damage. Bop, bop. Zero accuracy for the attack. So I have three damage on a punch back. Okay, and then I punch you with my other hand. Yes. Um, I have to hit you with accuracy of two. Right, so it's two of these and then... Three blues because I'm, I'm evasion five. Yeah. Hoping you finally miss. I do not, but I also don't hit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, seriously, it's like when we play. Like, the guy can't miss. It's driving me nuck and futz. Uh, <laughs> That's right, I said it correctly. Owen's like, whoa, JT, that was close. Okay, and then the artificer has to go. So, no, I can't shoot my gun, I assume. You are in combat with me right now. Yeah. So, you so can, I can't like shoot that guy over there. Uh, shooting out of combat? No, you cannot fire a gun while you're in melee. Can well, she do anything else? Can she fight the monk? Oh yeah, let's take a look. She can hit you with like a wrench or something crummy. She could, yeah. Unique inspiration that gained armored one. Roshak, exactly. I'm in so much trouble. Uh, so for free action, she'll give herself armored one plus one. Okay, that makes sense. Give yourself an extra point of armor. Yeah. That's free action. Yeah. I can't stop that. And then, um, I will do physical. Can I do another physical thing? I mean, that's all she does. Yeah, that's all she does. And this will be uh, action keyword of mechanics action. Yep, and what's that? What's that one do? Uh, makes you minus one power. Could have done it already. Ah, so she tags, she tries to make me minus one power, she succeeds? I don't know, I, had, I probably have to roll something. Probably, yep. Yeah. Tunnel gains unique uh, blessing. Their steam weapons gain the following keywords. Accurate, deep wounds, and armor uh, armor penetration. Uh, That's just Artificer's right? wrench is probably not a steam, ca and steam weapon? No, I don't I know. I don't think so, no. Yeah, or as Reese is saying in chat, tagging a ranged character is important because it stops them from shooting. Yeah. You can risk running away and I punch you with an opportunity attack, or you can turn around and smack me twice with your wrench. Yeah, 
I think making you minus one power. So you need is to. So first better. thing you have to do is actually spend an action to move. Oh, okay, that cost me an action. That to costs move. you an action to move. Because you don't have, you're not super fast. Oh, it okay. costs you an action to turn around. You so know what? She, she's I am going to leave combat then. Then I'm going to, I'm going to first strike. Yeah, that's strike fine. You. What's your evasion? Um, Four. Uh, I don't think you get your evasion when I free strike. Think. I don't think you get it. I haven't read any of these. I'm trying to remember today. free strikes. It's the first time I've actually had it happen. I'm going to go with search. The best part about it being on a Google Doc right now <laughs> is I can just do this. Yeah, you can uh, search and search for not gree free. What do you guys think in chat of the game so far? I know Mike and I are muddling through a little bit, but literally I've played a half a handful of these games and Mike has not actually played yet. So it's fun. I think you're picking it up pretty quick. Is it oppor it's probably opportunity attack, isn't it? I would hope so. Let's look that up. The one thing I didn't print. We printed everything else. Uh, you stop him from shooting, yes. Belfagor, opposed model, actions, ranges. Full rules for those are in there. There. All right. Tax of opportunity. Tag of opportunity happens the triggering before you perform the action. You voluntarily leave. Mm -hmm. um, and then how do we roll the attack? That's the triggers for attacks of opportunity. If you survive, you can complete the action. Monster movement, loot raid. I think I just attack you. Probably with, I would imagine your evasion would matter. Are you gonna get to attack me three times? Uh, I think I only get to attack you once. Okay. Because if you attack me three not a, times, it's I'm not just a standard action. You, but if you get a swing, it's then... just a reactive action, right? So it's a reactive action. I don't think you get your. We'll just roll it. I hit you. Yep. Hit you twice. I do have advantage, but I didn't get a black critical. Why did a you black, get a black? Oh, because I'm back. Yeah, yeah. So black would have given me a critical hit. But I still do damage, which is three plus three is six. And you have armor of what? You gave yourself extra pip of armor already, didn't you? Uh, I don't think so. With your free action, right? You gave her an extra piece of, arm, pip nope. of armor? No. Nope. You haven't done that yet? No. I thought you did. Uh, what did I do? I thought you did. That's a free oh, action. yeah, that's what it, Sorry, yeah, I didn't oh, mark it, is, it down. No, sorry, I, did, I did. It is a normal attack. Oof, so. It was a free. Oh, it's a normal attack? Yeah, so it's fine. So it's a normal attack, so that means I would get to flurry. Yeah, I'm not, well. I'm not letting you punch me three times. Uh, I punch you twice. It was... I, I did parry. I will punch you twice. But I hit you once for sure. She has four life, so... Six. I do six power and lose two because you, you have two armor. Two armor, yeah. Uh, I do one, two, three, she does. five. Yeah. Bloop! Crab stays around, though. Yeah. Brutally good. Do the shot. Oh, uh, I mean... Was I gonna turn around and do nothing and then? Because I figured I could move forward and then shoot that guy. And, it, and the, the chances of you actually doing that were actually pretty good. I was only rolling two dice to attack you, right? So it's a 75, 70% 70 chance that I hit you. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Absolutely. So Artificer goes down. What's next? The next guy, M4. We're finally getting deaths. <laughs> the strategist. Okay. So what's the range on his free? Hasty ability. Reese, that's a brutal normal attack, by the way. The monk is just, my monk's gonna get punished. <laughs> you better kill the monk. Yeah, he'll, <laughs> you he'll, better he'll kill give him. himself the free action. Yeah. Unless there's uh, a better is one. It that's all I've done. Or is it yells at himself? What about Tatama? Effect allied model. So yeah. it doesn't affect him. What does stunned do? Uh, makes me lose an action. 1 1 in deaths. Yes, Roshak, we are 1 1 in deaths. So he'll move here. So friendly lets you do it to yourself. Allied, allied anybody else. Is somebody else. Does he, he has reach. So he? Uh, wait, wait, wait. he has that free action, but I think I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to essentially make him have minus one action. You're going to try to stun him? Yeah. Okay. Can you ignore that somehow? No, I don't. not that I can think of. Okay, I was going to attack him, but I think him doing less stuff is better. I think that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and attempt. I don't have anybody in range that can stop you from doing that. So please go ahead. Attempt uh, your ability. 
Physical, diminished equipment. Oh, sorry, it's the wrong one. Uh, you fool. <laughs> Such a cool ability. Yeah. You fool. You kind of uh, got a... Against your will? Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually, my will's not bad. It's three. So Met it's... Metaphysical. For metaphysics me. versus will. Yeah. So you moved, and then you did the action. And uh, my metaphysical is three. three. So it's just going to be two orange dice. Yeah. Here he goes. Stun! I get it. You fool! Ah, I am rebuked! And could, I'm you, doing... could I do... I guess when I moved here, I could have done a, a charge as well. Um, so what you would probably... Because you had to oh, turn because around... Oh, because I had to turn around. You had to turn around? That's why I didn't even... Yeah. yeah. So I'm now stunned. The facing things I'm still getting used to. Yeah, he's stunned. We'll just put that... We know he's stunned. Yeah, the facing is really important. Okay. Because it, it really means when you get in somebody's That's back line, you can really mess them up. all I can do up. with that guy. Uh, oh, it's me next. Yeah. So it is my arcane trickster next? No, it is my demon hunter next. My ethereal demon hunter. Is she not ethereal anymore? Uh, no, because then she's gonna she's the one who made her ethereal, so it'll fall off when it's her activation. Okay. Oh boy. Um, she's got to heal stuff, so she can do that. You've already tried to deny stuff, so you don't have multiple more. You don't have more denies. I don't not. So this I turn. pulled those out already, which is big. So the demon hunter Aluvia, so you can heal. Short range, two red dice, and remove all afflictions. I think that's what she's going to do. Okay, so she is going to two red dice into severe. Is that range? Yeah, so short range. So okay. three. So he goes up to five. Okay. So that's her first action, which I don't know where I put my pen, but that's okay. Sabir is back up to five. And then I'm going to use, because her pistol is still really good, but she's got some other cool stuff. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Is Canthus blessed? No. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, because I can't do that twice... Uh, I'm going to use Exposing Strike on Canthus. Okay. So I'm going to make him vulnerable. So Exposing Strike on Canthus. I'm going to shoot him with my pistol. My accuracy is four. Your evasion, sir? One. All right. Here we go. Bang! I hit you. Okay. So I hit you. Your armor is two. two. So that's four. Five, six dice white minus two for your armor is four dice white for damage. Two, four, five, six damage. Okay. And you are vulnerable, sir. Because of exposing strike. He's only down, he's down to two lives, though. So. so it means that uh, I can get advantage on him, which is key. Mm -hmm. So that is the end of the demon hunter. Now we go to the arcane trickster. So again, she's just going to make her ethereal. Because she needs to be defending, and, and she's my only chance here. And Gemden now has to go with... Oh, this could be really good. Uh, casting Fear, standard, medium range. Okay. I can on Fear. <laughs> I can... I can, I, I think I can do something funky. I could make you afraid of that box. <laughs> uh, oh, that would be really interesting. That would be, I could also make you think he can, that he's a friendly. Or I could just try to shoot you, which I think I might, and just kill Canthus. Yeah. Um, because I get advantage on this. So what is your evasion on Canthus? One. He's got evasion one, so my accuracy is four. And I would, you can either dodge or you can, because this is a missile attack, so you're gonna have to dodge this. Reese can remind us how to dodge. Here we go, I'm gonna shoot him. Whew, I'm gonna shoot him. So I hit you, but no critical. Uh, it is six power. Six power. Minus your two for your armor. And you're going to want to dodge. Physical actions only. You don't dodge, I kill him. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven. So I don't have a choice. Yeah. Uh, 
I think it's a number of evasion dice. Because I had two, four, six, seven. Two twos. Because I rolled four, six dice. Two twos, three ones. Did you trying to remember dodge? Because it was... I uh, get to roll nine blue dice? Is it, I think, yeah, nine sounds right. And you've got to basically eliminate... It's better than parry. It's better than parry, and you have to basically block my stuff. Dice right. for dice. So it was two... Double block, double blocked. Four single, double. Single, single, single. So you block everything. Okay. But you can only move but now and defend. doesn't do anything. Now you can only move and defend. Okay. Yeah. Arcane Trickster's done. Canthus's turn. All he can do is move and defend. Yeah, it, we are playing a little bit slower than we normally would um, because we're double check, figure it out, and dump this on Mike literally this morning. Here's all the extra stuff we need. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's like, great. I'll read the rule book one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like 40K. There's still rules I don't know. So uh, all they could do is move, and he's minus one movement still. Yeah, he's minus one movement for the rest of the game. I'm just trying to see if there's any of his uh, abilities that I can use. Uh, you cannot, because you can move and defend. That's all he can do. Yeah. You can't do any, I can't open the box? Uh, no, he can move and defend. That's all he can do. You're ducking, dipping, and diving. Okay. I but, threw a wrench at your head. So there's nothing for him to, he just stands there like a yep, he, can, he, he can move away. Well, then he'll die. We already tried that once. <laughs> uh, I can't, because you are, yeah, you provoke an opportunity to yeah, because exactly. you're in reach. So uh, that guy does nothing and then dies next turn. That's the goal. Okay. And, um... That is the goal. All right. So that's him. Whoo, whoo, Sabir. Here we go, Sabir the Paladin. So I'm going to go with Zealous Strike. I'm going to hit him with Zealous Strike. I'm going to make sure that I kill you because I get extra damage and plus one red dice damage. So that red dice damage should basically kill you. I believe red dice can still be dodged, just not parried. Are you ready? I guess I'm dodging. You have no choice. I'm accuracy three. Your evasion? One, man. Here we go. Uh, you didn't hit. I am accurate. I do hit. Ugh. I do hit you. Yep. So that hits you with six, two, three, four, five, six, and power four, one, two, three, four, and you have armor two, so that drops those two, and I get an extra one from Zealous Strike, extra one from Zealous Strike, and a red dice. Only one damage on the red dice. So I'm gonna put these out here, because you have dodge nine dice to go, sir. And then those will do nothing, and that's one red. So okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six doubles, and then two singles. Three, four, five, six. Uh, I, I do nine. He again. is full defending everything he can. Nine dice, trying to stop. You get six doubles. Six doubles, no. So I get him. Yeah. Zealous strike, and then Sabir is going to lay on hands on himself. So I'm going to lay on hands. Um, I heal two red dice, plus my power and hit points. Okay. So two red dice. I think that's a once per game. No, it's unlimited lay on hands. Two red dice, plus my power. To heal him back up. Here's the problem, though. We're close to the end of the stream time. I hit two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven back. He's back up to 16. The problem now is... Don't call it a comeback, baby. Oh, here's, I, I can't do anything at this point. Here's the, oh no, here's the thing. At the end of turn three, because we're at about two and a half hours now, which is close to where we end it, mm -hmm. we'll probably get one more turn in. Um, at this point, you're actually winning, because you're the closest to the objective. But we're only halfway through the game. We're only halfway through the game. I'm not going to have any models left in two turns, I think. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I, am, I am super defensive. The monk is dead. This is not going good. Uh, monk gets to go. Monk gets to go, so hopefully I can punch somebody in the face, but I, I'm in combat with the, with the, with the, uh, I'm in combat with the crab. 
who is just being the most annoying little bugger chasing me around. Right, so that's a new turn. We both lost a model. You've lost two. I lost two. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to start with Aloyan. So Aloyan is my first move. Aloyan is going to go and he is going to... I'm going to jack my staff up. Okay. So that's just, I'm going to jack up my staff so it does more damage. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to attempt to cast Barrier. Well, that's a casting action. I can't cast both of those. So I'm going to Aloyan. Reach an accurate. No. Oh, you have to open a chest for that rule to work? I have an open chest for the rule to kick it. Ah, there you go. Oh, that's right. The chest has to be open for you to be closest to it. So I think I'm actually going to, I don't want to lose him. I'm going to just drop him down to here. So I can draw, actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I can see you. He's going to go there. Okay. My staff is now jacked up. So come at me, bro. And he's done. My next guy is dead. You killed him. Yep. But I do have the monk to go next. So once again, my monk is going to go super acrobatic guy. Ignores attacks of opportunity. Did you do Tatama last turn? I don't remember doing him, but... I don't think you did. <laughs> Too bad, gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, kind of. Uh, I'm going to charge. Because I'm going to acrobatic. That's one action. And then I'm going to charge. Dag now, but I don't know who I want to get. I want to get Scoot, but that's just going to be crazy. I have to go right towards you, too. I'm going to charge right to here. All right. So I'm going to charge to there, and then I'm going to punch you. You ready? What you should do is move here or here. Because if you're, he if you're here, I can't even attack you. I have um, to waste a turn turning. That's true, isn't it? But I think yeah. I have to stop when I'm closest. I'm okay there because it makes it harder for you to get to my back arc. In fact, I'm even gonna turn. This crab has to go all the way around. You should ready? Really put, uh, should you really put a marker like or a line or something? I think when I get mine, I will. Guys, so yeah. you know exactly where their arcs are. Exactly. Evasion on your strategist, sir. Uh, two. Two? So it's two dice. I hit. And I did charge. So that's going to be uh, power three, six dice, seven dice. What's your armor? One. Six, seven dice, so six. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do two, four, five, six, seven damage to you. Okay. For the first attack. Uh, and then my flurry of blows goes. Mm -hmm. um, so my flurry of blows goes off, and it's the same thing. Your evasion is one, right? Two. Evasion is two. Uh, so here we go. Flurry of Blows hits. Okay. And it goes with the same thing. Three, four, five, six, and one army, you said, right? Yep. For another two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Pop, Would pop, you pop. like to continue attacking? I'm at minus two life. That's it. That's all I get left. Okay. I can't, I parried, so I don't have that second attack oh, to do I a wield. Um, because I can parry once, and that, I believe it takes away. So now when you, oh, he killed him? Yeah, man. Oh, dude, monk, monk, monk. <laughs> All right, that's now, what I'm saying. I'm like, I, monk, I don't see any way, way to kill anything else for myself. Right. Monk's about to die. <laughs> this guy is really interesting, but uh, the fact that you can turn off curses, it just completely rendered him useless. One a turn, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it depends which curse, and I have to still roll to do it, right? Um, you have your denies up now as well. Okay. All right, sir. It's you have four activations in a row. Five. All five. Your guys go. How much life do they have? Two? She's ethereal, so you magic missile me out. Yeah. Aloyan is still full. He's only got 15. Um, the monk is down to 13. But up to 13. Or up to uh, 13. Uh, he's dead. The demon hunter's at four. Okay, so I just have to attack She's her. at four. I just have to attack her. Uh, my arcane trickster hasn't been hit, and Sabir's at 16. Okay. Thanks, Roshak, for checking in. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot the magic missiles. I'll shoot... Two of them at her. Yep. And uh, one at him. That works. So to get those off, 
Uh, the evasion on the... So I'm going to actually attempt to stop your, your, your yeah, spell. Yeah, do it. Uh, I'll do it because it's metaphysical. I'll do so with um, Aloyan. Uh, his deny is three. Okay. So it's two orange and a blue. First you have to successfully cast, but okay. then I will try to, I'll try to so stop I it. So I cast... Uh, I, I guess it's just on my metaphysical, yeah. So I have... It's metaphysics versus evasion, uh, probably? Six versus evasion, yes, correct. So the evasion on the demon hunter is is two. Okay. Cause that's her, right? So I get four white dice. Yes. You're probably gonna hit her. And you're putting two into her, right? Yes. Perfect. I hit. Okay, I have to attempt to deny that. Okay. I need to get a success. I get a success and no skull. Okay, so the whole spell's so over. So I stop I stop the spell. Okay. But that's my metaphysical deny for the turn. She has a physical or metaphysical deny. Ooh, I might actually deny. Okay, I'm she is ethereal. Uh, right, so I can't shoot you with her. My um, wand doesn't really say. You Just, could shoot a lion with a wand. But why? Yeah, because his evasion sucks. Yeah, there's. It's no a point. one. He's full life. So. Yeah, it's life's fifteen. Yeah, no point. Um, the wands are. I, I, I doesn't say, so I assume it's physical damage. Yeah. Well, yes, it would be. Okay, so I have no choice. I'll shoot him with the wand. Okay, Sabir's evasion is two. And my actually is zero, so two blue dice. Uh, I miss. There's the skull. Okay. And right. the next guy. <laughs> is your next one. Yeah, this guy. One. That guy goes next. Um, Who's next? Ah, uh, this guy. Ritama? Yeah. So you're going to curse the monk with something. Yeah. You're going to turn to face the monk. So I have to turn... And... Does he do anything in combat? Yeah, he does. But it's not gonna kill you. So... Yeah, he's got... See, now that you've moved farther does. back too, I can't stop you from doing whatever you're doing to me now. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do anything. You're the, you just have two turns of killing all these guys. Yeah, but killing you doesn't win me the game. I can curse him with something that doesn't matter. Uh, I'll enfeeble him. Enfeeble does minus two evasion, right? Or minus two power? Uh, your power is zero. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That'll, so. neuter, that'll neuter him. So is it a cast versus anything? Like my will or something? Or no? I think so, yeah. What's it say? Katana, uh, it's a shout action. Oh, that's that one. Uh, Enfeeble, enfeeble. Here we go. Medium range, what's long range now? Instant, metaphysical versus you don't get any defense. I just enfeeble. So you. if you don't want to do any of their actions, you just move. I and can't. Then you cast. It, that was a. That was my. I had to move. To but then look it at auto you. casts. Then it auto casts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't because have you're not moving still? again. So you just you've moved and now you cast. You can move cast to move and cast, because casting is not a full round action, right? All right. You know what? I'll just risk the move cast okay. at this point. Metaphysics is six. Yeah. So you get two orange, two white. Okay. And then I'll and then you get to move charge again. Charge you. Why not? Uh, you can't charge because that's a complex move and attack, right? Or you can't. Because like... you you've already moved. Yeah. And now you're gonna move cast. So you can't move cast charge. Does that make sense? No. Okay, so, so, you're, move, so you, you had to move you, to turn to get me in light. Very simply? Yeah. You Too many actions. Okay, okay, so I can't move and move you, cast because, because, because I couldn't see you. Because you, you couldn't see me. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. So then I just, and then it just goes off. So it doesn't matter. Then it just goes off. Okay, yeah. so you're enfeebled and... So I'm zero power. And then M3. Blarg. I'm zero power. Now it's... The scoot's already gone. Can't attack her because she's... It's meta versus Will, he said. There's a typo in the cheat sheet. Too bad we're past it. Thanks, Will. Thanks, Reese. We'll fix it next time. Because <laughs> my Will would have sucked anyway. You would have got me. Yeah, six versus three, you would have done that. So here's the thing. You open that chest. What's right? the point? And you just take it. No, no. You open that chest. It's not a full round action. It's a standard action. Yeah. You open the chest. Then you pick it up. But that's... If it's open and pick it up is the action. That's you're done. Yeah, and then you just kill me and take it. Come to I'm gonna try to kill you. Yeah, but I have like two life. It doesn't matter. Him? The yeah, warlock? He's, he's nine. Yeah. 
What's his evasion? Five. Yeah, but if if we run out of time, which we're about to, you win the game. I'm attacking. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Be your guy that's got 10 life back. Yeah, he said 16. All right. Oh, here we go. So it's a charge action. You you actually win the game if you take if you open the objective. No, I don't, because the game's not over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Never tell me the odds, son. Yeah. It's kind of wild how quickly it can flip. Like the monk running into your back line on the first turn. Just seeing if any of these do more than uh, than just a regular attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got an offhand fist. Okay, whatever, I'll just do attacks then. You're just gonna attack. You charge, yeah. um, so your accuracy? Yeah, my accuracy is four. And my evasion is two. Okay. So you have advantage and an extra power dice on damage because you charged on your first attack. Uh, your ac your uh, it's evasion two. Evasion two. So I get two extra. Yeah. No black one, but I do hit. You do hit. Yes. So uh, it is three white dice, and you have three defense. defense and then what's your right? power? So those don't do anything. And then the power of three. Plus one more because you charged. Plus one more because I don't charged. need the orange. Just white dice. White dice are just your damage dice now. Hi yeah. Uh, five. Five. If okay. you don't parry or whatever. No, I'm good. You get to you get to punch me again though. Yeah. And oh, something about Hellfire Strike. Well, Hellfire Strike was a ranged. Oh, Hellfire Strike. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to use the the close combat. His fist too. Do the normal damage. Add. Oh, okay. When I make a melee attack, I can do this. In ah, addition, there you go. In addition, I thought it was instead oh, so, of. Oh, so you're doing that in addition? It might as well. Yeah, yeah. What does it do? Uh, I just get two extra uh, red dice. So add the two red dice. For six damage. Holy crap! That's big. That's huge, dude! Down uh, to five. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh and crap. Then I get to make two punchy attacks, I guess. Uh, with offhand, I don't think he has the ability to do a wheel. Oh. Yeah, because his first one is deep wounds and reach, which means you could have you could have technically stopped here and charged. You're looking here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm. Right. I'm looking here. Yeah, so he doesn't have the dual wield feet. Oh, okay. So, but you still get to attack again because you can attack twice. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, you can't hellfire strike again, I don't think, unless it says every time you make. A well, I attack. mean, you can usually only do one of these abilities once. So. But you, I'm gonna have to parry you here. Like I don't have a choice because I'm at five life. Yeah, he does not have double strike. Yeah, yeah. Punch me, dude. Accuracy two. four? Accuracy four, so... Evasion two. Yeah. So, two orange and a white. I don't hit. Oh, no! Do you have accurate on your weapon? Uh, I do. So, the swirl So, the swirl hits. does, yeah, yeah. Swirl okay. hits. So, you don't get the extra power dice. But it's three... Just three dice. Yeah, you can only do that once per activation. But it's still... This is enough to potentially kill me. Three. Three. <sighs> uh, I have to parry it, which means I won't be able to fight with my sword next turn, and I only get um, Can two you dice. Parry with your crummy dagger? Uh, no, because it's not a defensive weapon. Mm. So I get one shield, one shield. You have you have a two and a one, right? You have, yeah, you have a two and a one. So I only block the one, so I take two. So I'm at three. <laughs> Yeah, nab it. All right, Sabir's going down. Who's next? Dead. Ah, uh, crab goes then. Oh, okay. Uh, this <laughs> Crabby guy. Patty. Here he goes, charging the can monk. Can I? Yeah, I you guess can charge I can from charge there. Charge behind you, hey? No, unfortunately, I gotta be able. You can move five, right? Yeah. Uh, but the moment you're there, you're in my. You would be in my back arc there. Yeah. I think I can't remember if something has to go direct. Reese would know. It doesn't matter. Go ahead, punch me in the back. Bring it. Punch yeah, me in the back. Whatever. Yep. Yep. I don't want to. I don't want to cheese it. Cheese it. It's fun. Um, it's live stream. It's all good. I think you're gonna wreck him though. Well, he's still got like 15 life. Uh, he's got he? 13 life. Yeah. But my my evasion is high. But you do a wield, right? All right. Uh, this is how I remember it being. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you're attacking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, don't hit. Don't hit. 
Um, and then the second attack. Yep. I don't hit. Don't hit. All right, now you get to fight again because you charged, fought, and now you get to fight. Oh, right, okay. These just don't get advantage, and these don't get um, the extra damage dice. Crab bot! Uh, this one does hit. Too bad I don't have advantage. Right. So that hits. Do you want to roll the second one attack as well? Yeah. So I, think, I think technically we're supposed to roll all the damage together. Something in my mind is twigging that. So two more hits. Okay. Right. So how much damage do you do? Uh, they're four each, plus his power of one. So six each. So we'll do, we'll do them one at a time. Do you want to parry these? Um, you bonked him on the head last time. Yeah, well, I get to fight you. I get to punch you back, right? So the, do the first one. Am I doing these all at once, or is it separate? Um, you punched me. I get to reply. Okay. Here's the first one. Yeah. That was a crap time. Two, four, six, eight, nine. All right, so now I'm going to punch you back. Yeah. Which is basically just at power zero, right? Uh, you're enfeebled with power zero, yeah. Yeah, accuracy, accuracy zero and power zero. Because this is my just punch you back attack, which I hit you. Yep. So I hit him for, what's your de armor on him? One? I hit him for four. Okay. The crab takes four. <laughs> and now you get to punch, now you get to do more damage to me. My gosh, this is not good. And he does... Seven. Seven? Yeah. Go crab. I got crabs. Oh, man. That kills him. You pinchied the monk to death. Oh, man. That blows. Ketchiweo is done. Boom, boom, boom. Ketchiweo is dead to the crab bot. <sighs> what do you got left? That is? That's it. All right. So I can get up to open an objective with my demon hunter. She's physical. She can't do anything. And my arcane trickster. She's ethereal. She's ethereal. She can shoot her cannon. It's been doing like nine damage Yeah, she time. can shoot her flintlock. Yeah. The demon hunter can also do some other cool stuff. Um, demon hunter is going to... I'm going to go... Two, Apparently we did it right, six. so that's two, good. One, three, five. Actually, I'm just going to go right to here. Okay. Stay out of your reach. And then she's going to heal... Try to keep my Sabir up. Uh, I believe it's just two red dice. I'm certainly interested, very in, interested to see how the like level up system works and like campaign that Great. kind of thing. For sure, right? Yeah, like I, the I, campaign I, is fun. I, after playing today, I definitely have like ten times more questions than answers yeah. <laughs> at this point. Yeah. So boom, boom, that finishes her. Okay, Gem Den. Are you gonna win me the game, Gem Den? Gem Den, what are you gonna do? Gem Den, what are you gonna do? Oh man, I, I can't get there. I can't get there. I can't get there. I can't get there. Can't do it. Bugger. No, no, no. <sighs> oh, I forgot. Um, when uh, Tarkan died, he's supposed to get back up with one life. Oh, put it back up. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, because he's a dwarf. Yeah. Wouldn't have changed anything. You still would have killed the monk. Um, she's going to... Wait, he has one life. That was his... So that's his... All, all yeah. the characters have a once-a-game ability, and that was his. She's going to go I, Ethereal really again. got to do the other ones. I think I've been casting Ethereal on her. I think she's going to go Ethereal, but she's going to go Ethereal. Already mirrored. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, Um, Now I can just stay right where she is and just shoot you with my weapon. I'll shoot you, and then I'll go Ethereal. Okay. Uh, defense on... Oh, no, I'm, you're in combat. I just shoot Scoot. No, I'm not. Maybe I'm not going to go Ethereal this turn. I'm going to shoot Scoot. Okay. I think Ethereal is a cast ability for... Um, Gemden, Card Arcane Tricture, Metaphysics, Automatic Success. Yeah, Ethereal Form. Short range. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know what short range, it must be, a, we must be doing it right. Uh, okay, so she's going to attempt to cast. Okay. Metaphysics and the Arcane Trickster is... One? One. So move casting. Ooh! 
Goes off. Oh, nice. Ooh, so she casts Ethereal um, and shoots Scoot in the face. <laughs> Accuracy four, defense on the dude. Uh, on Scoot. Deny five, uh, damage reduction zero. Oh, sorry, accuracy evasion, my bad. Evasion four. Evasion four, so just straight dice. Hits. Yep. And she does two white, plus power, one, two, three, four. I want to three, four, five, six. And no your damage defense, reduction. No damage reduction. Who's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six? Okay, down to six life. And then she is done. And then it is on to your guy who's already dead. Yep. Or Canvas. Then it's Sabir, who is just gonna stab your warlock <laughs> multiple times and try to kill him. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I'm gonna use Zealous Strike, plus one damage and plus one red dice damage. So this is accuracy versus evasion. My accuracy is three, your evasion, sir? Uh, five. Oh, so it's two blues. May you roll a skull. Yes. Oh, fails. Uh, and then he will attack again. Possible critical, but I have no advantage. Okay. But I hit you. Yep. So that is one, two, three power dice. My power is four. And I already failed on my zealous strike. Your armor? Uh, one. One? Yeah. I'm assuming that buff that I gave him is two, over. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. When was that? Uh, yeah, it was just a blessing. Yeah. Oh, wait, blessings. Play the whole game. Yeah, so I actually had evasion two, uh, evasion seven. Oh, geez, you want me to reroll the attack? Let's reroll the attack. Two, three, four. No, oh, fails. Yeah, the extra Sabir blue dice, nothing. that makes a big difference. It's huge, huge difference, huge right? Huge difference, yeah. So it's, you can see how stacking those negatives and those positives really, really helps. At this point, we're finished through four full turns. We've actually been at this for two and a half hours, two hours, 45 minutes. Yeah. <sighs> we got two turns. The game state, uh, do we go one more, Owen, or do you think we're about the end of the stream? Uh, we got two turns full left to play in the game. And three, only three guys aside. Only three guys each. It's probably going to go pretty quick. Probably going to go pretty quick. Because my monk was my third activation. He's dead. And my second activation is also dead. And your last activation I is lost, dead. I uh, lost M5 and M6. Yeah, so the, but you still have the crab. I still have the crab too, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so. I actually do have quite a few guys on the table. You do. Uh, that means we go back to the next turn, and I start with Aloyan. Oh man, Aloyan moves five. One, two, three, five. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit, baby. Did you actually get that far? Yeah, one, two, three, five. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> all right, two dice. At, uh, action threshold four. What's his uh, finesse? One. Okay. So, here we go. Come on, open it. You get it? I got it! Nice. He opens it! Nice. Yeah, baby! So I open it up. It and doesn't is, explode in your face. It does not explode in my face, but here's the thing. It's now sitting there for somebody else to take. We'll just use that. That's now open. Boom, done, done, done. Uh, it's over to you, dude. And you have Who a bunch it? of dudes to go. You can literally run up and steal that. Yeah, that's kind of what my plan is. Uh, two is... So she's ethereal again? She's ethereal again, How yeah. much life does she have? Uh, she has four. But you can, you still have your blocking ability. Yeah, he has a metaphysical block and she has an anything block. Anything block's pretty cool. Not boom explosion, but boom I did it. Yeah, now I just have to hope Mike doesn't grab it. Because if yeah, he does, I'm like, phone. Do I grab it with a guy with six life and no defense? Like, Right? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, oh boy, it's gonna be bad. So a great way to pull out my how much, denies. How much life? How much life? She's got four. She has, she has four. Sabir's back up to six. How did she have four? I thought she had two. Oh, she must have healed herself. Uh, she did, yeah. And it sucked. <laughs> it was bad. Or he did, or something. Yeah. No, she was to seven, then to four. He, the duelist, was at two, and you picked him up. So I would just walk. One, two, three, pick it up. Yeah, and I, th I don't and think then I, I have, stand there. I don't think I have reach. Yeah. No, I don't have reach, so I can't. I think you have to move onto it to pick it up, if I'm not mistaken. Reese will, Reese will check that for us. 
I mean, at least it puts it closer to my side. Yeah, I think you have to actually, because I just open it, right? Yeah, I would assume picking it up is an action, but I don't actually know. <laughs> Not boom explosion. Yeah, boom, you did it for sure. Yeah, can we, can we, I think you have to move onto it to pick it up. Move onto it? I believe so, right. To grab it. Uh, da -da -da. Disarm the chest is done, securing. Uh, may secure an objective within their action. That's just gotta be within your melee range and use a standard action. And you to can only carry, yep. Can I, can I, uh, move like there's not like a charge and pick no it up. i can't it's a standard action to pick it up okay so you would move and then pick it up all right well i might as well then yeah because if you hold it at the end of the game you win yeah so yeah he'll go there and pick it and up and he picks it up crap and uh, then it's your next guy can i hand it off can i can you lateral I it i think you can drop it you just as a it. standard action i think you can drop it as a standard action However, next turn, if I don't get to scoot, run him off the board, and that's it. Yeah. One, two, three, four. He's on one hit point, right? Uh, this guy's on one hit point, yeah, but what else is he doing? It's truth. <laughs> one, two, three, four, yeah, he goes here. Does he have reach? Yeah. So then you can stop there. Oh, you, it doesn't, uh, oh, I no, thought you're, it was, you're, yeah. You're right, because it's a diagonal. Yeah, because the diagonal. Oh boy, he's punching a lion. This guy has a lot of debuffing and buffing abilities. Do I want to stun? Is a minus action, right? Yes, it is. My evasion is crap. Uh, yeah. So I will attempt to minus action on this guy. Okay. Is that a metaphysical or a physical? It is metaphysical. Okay, then I'm gonna try to deny it if it succeeds. Okay. Did you charge though? Oh yeah, might as well have. So charge, do your charge attack. Okay, so haven't you really done much with this guy? Uh, his reach, but he's, uh, deep wounds is pretty good. Yeah, which is, happens when you roll with uh, criticals and advantage and red dice. Did I steal the orange dice? There's two here. Yeah, I must have. What do you do with them? Put them in your pocket? You know, they're just in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> just in my hand. In my hand. Like, where are they? I can't find them. Those sunglasses on my head. <laughs> okay, so accuracy of three. What's your evade? Uh, evasion on him is a stellar one. Okay, so I'm, I, I dodge like a I truck. Get two whites, two oranges. Uh, You're accurate, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, he's not so accurate. I miss. So you miss. You miss with your charge. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, not a big deal. So now you can either attack again or you can try to stun me. I think I'll just try and stun you. That makes total sense. Yeah. So what is the effect of this? So stun? it's versus your will. Okay. So his will's pretty good. Will five. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It is versus my metaphysical, which is three. So you're so two blues. Two, two blues. What's the range on the stun though? That's a simple action. Range, medium range. So you far. could stun any one of these guys too. Yeah. You know what, I'll stun him. Stun severe, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. So his, it's his will is three. Oh, okay. Versus my metaphor, so it's just orange dice. Straight orange dice. I get it with crits, not that it okay. matters. I am gonna attempt to deny that okay. with Aloyan. Yep. Uh, so my deny is based on, cause that's a metaphysical one, right? Where's reflex deny? Where is it? Instant denial action. Attack four. So this is his denial is a three. So I have to roll two orange and a blue. Uh, I succeed. Okay. I block it. So I'm not stunned on severe. I'll just put this guy here. Yep. Ditch the dog, it moves one. And now who are you gonna curse? Um, this guy's got how much life left now? Six. And if you and if I kill him, he goes back. He, yeah, he goes the, back demon, to life. the demon Same hunter. This guy. Well, the demon hunter can try to shrug the curse you put on him. Right. 
So that's that, that's where the whole who do I have to kill first comes in, right? Yeah. It looked good for me with the monk running into your back line, but now I'm in serious trouble. You've got way more power than me in the One, midfield, two, and I'm three, gonna four, die. Five. I should just go here and attack. Screw the curses. You're charging? They don't do chack. There you go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tatama's got full Jaguar Warrior. Yeah, well, he hasn't done anything else all game. How do I fight this thing? What does it do? Uh, I, I don't think it does anything. It's just a, it's a node. Can I fight him? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, You're okay. in my front arc. Then I'm going to use his once a game ability. Uh oh. Oh no. And do my Jaguar bite. Jaguar bite? Yeah. Wherever it is. Tatama's Jaguar bite. So for you guys at home, it, they won't be on a spreadsheet. It'll be on a card that'll be attached that actually sit in your in your character sheet, so you have them right in front of you and you know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, that's Physical. what we're doing. Race Jaguar bite. Yeah, baby, Jaguar bite. Wow, wow. Standard action, Jaguars. move action, cave, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, he's gonna burn me. He's gonna hurt me. He's gonna hurt me. No, 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 no. It's an automatic success. Yeah, you just do it. Okay. So what does it say? It does. Uh, this model may move, ignoring terrain and reading models. Am I reading? Oh, I'm reading the wrong guy. That's oh, there you go. There's the problem. <laughs> okay. Gotta love spreadsheets. Here it is. Ah! Uh, noble feats. No. <laughs> Heritage ability. Jaguar bite. Accuracy. Okay, it's versus accuracy. It's a free action. Yeah. So I could I can do a charge attack, you charge and fight me, and then, then jaguar you. bite me. Yes, for free. Oh, okay. So, so charge that, and smack me. So I'll charge and smack you. Yes, please. Big old smackaroonie. Smackaroonie doodly. Uh, accuracy. I have accuracy of zero. Uh, I have evasion of one, so you can only roll <laughs> one blue. And you hit me. I, yeah. And, and I get the. Crit. That's a critical because you have advantage for yeah, charging. For charging. Fantastical. Uh, What's your damage? My damage is three. Plus your power. Plus my power of zero. But, uh, but one, because I charged. And you turn and then you because you critical? I turned one of them into a red. Turned one into a red. And I can't do anything about the red. I can't do anything about anything. Uh, I do six damage. Alright. How much life does he have? Uh, I have a transmuter staff, it's reach and accurate. He has fifteen. You do six damage? Six, okay. yeah. I'm down to nine. You could uh, dodge. Uh, I'm good right now. Dip, Because I did jack his staff up, so if I get a chance to hit you, I can I, hurt I you. I thought you had to open this, the thing before you jacked off the, scat, the staff. Uh, I did it two turns ago. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, jaguar bite. Jaguar bite. Jaguar. Oh no, you're gonna kill him. Uh, jaguar bite, melee range. Opposing model takes two red dice. Uh oh. This could kill me. No, I can't. Four. Ooh, down to five. And then I just fight you. Yeah, you get one more attack. Yeah. Which is still potentially could miss. No skulls. It hits. It hits, but no critical. Yeah. There's no advantage. It would be critical, everybody, if, if you I had, had advantage. advantage. Actually, I'm sorry. Yes, you have advantage. I'm engaged over here. You critical again. So wheat. So three. Uh, what's your damage reduction? <laughs> Zero. Okay. So I get three, and one of them becomes, becomes red. a red. Yeah. Okay, you have five life. I may have to parry this. We'll see. It. We'll see how bad you do. Uh, I get four. Two, three, four. Uh, I'm good. So I'm he has good. one life. I have one life. I have one life left on Aloyan. Oh dearie my. Okay, uh, that was uh, that guy. Tatama. M three. This fella here. Who is your last guy to act? I think it's gonna be him. Oh, probably the crab. Crab's the last guy to act. Crab. Good old crabby. So you've got one, two, three. M, who's M5? The crab. Art M5, and then you have M4, 5, yeah. So, who's M4? Oh yeah, he's already, but he's already gone? How'd that work? I don't know, we're good. Because you have the crab, you have the warlock left and crab is last. Who's M6? Crab? Uh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead, that's right. All right, so yeah, you have um, warlock, and then you have crab. Warlock, yeah, okay. I know, dude. <laughs> Kicking my butt. <laughs> uh, this guy has five six life. life. Six life. Okay, so I'll do the uh, Hellfire Strike. You are in melee. Yes, yeah, for melee. So you're gonna punch, hit Sabir. Yeah. I'd... Is that on a successful attack or it's just an attack? It's when I do an attack, I do an extra two red dice. So you're gonna Hellfire Strike, kick. Yeah. Um. So uh, he has 
Because that, is that a physical action or a standard action or is that just a bonus? It's a physical, so you could block it. I'm going to try to stop it. Okay. So if you successfully hit, I'm going to try to stop that ability. Okay. Because you'll still hit me with it. So damage. accuracy of four. Uh, evasion of two. Okay. I hit. So it's a hit. Uh, I will attempt to deny it with my Demon Hunter, uh, which is just two orange dice. Have you got all the orange dice? You're damn right. You do, you do, do. <laughs> I block the Hellfire Strike. Okay. So you still do regular damage to me. So I still do regular attack. Yeah. Which is your weapon power and your power. Power is three, so that's just negated by your three. Armor. And, and then you have power three, I think, on the Warlock. Yeah. So it's three dice. Accurate with reach. Yeah. That's enough to kill me. Uh, how? It's only four damage. I have, oh, I have six. I'm gonna still gonna attempt to parry it, though. Okay. Um, how many? No, oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. I mean, it doesn't let it go. Me. Down to two. You still get to attack me again, though. Yeah. So I will. Oh boy. <laughs> oh right, and I get these two. But it hits. It, it hits. Really yeah. Uh, and then I get three dice. Yes. To attack you with. You need to do two damage. I do four. I have to parry, and I have to parry the two and a one. I gotta get both of these or I die. Two and a one. Two and a one. So I take one. So I have one, and I still have the ability to stand back up once yeah. you kill me. Oh, Sabir lives. Okay. Uh, so that's all me, right? Yeah. Uh, no, now it's... Oh, yeah. So I'm ethereal, so I actually go through you, I believe. I still have to use my crab. I think we got the crab and uh, move the crab up. guy. Well, can you get anywhere? I don't think I you think can... I can charge you. Try it. So one, two, three, four, five... And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can. So there you go. He's gonna charge the loin. Go crab! The greatest there ever was. <laughs> uh, what's your uh, evasion? One, one. One. Okay. So this is gonna hurt. I hit with advantage. Oh dear. And then I do. Uh, what, and you have no defense, right? Uh, I have mm, no so defense. So I have four, four white dice, plus one for my power, plus one for charging. Yep. <laughs> you die. No, keep those dice, because I have to dodge. Uh, okay. Oh, there's Ian. Hey, Ian, what's up, buddy? Nice. So I dodge. Uh, I take out a two and a two. And then I take out a... Two, two, two. Oh, dude, I only take out is one. Is dodge two. always nine? Dodge is nine dice. Oh, okay. I thought it was matching nope. how many you were attacking parry. with. Okay. So dodge is nine. Uh, so I dodge. But I can do nothing else. Pretty sweet. I dodge them all, baby. And I get to attack again. Yeah, because you have the other claw. Yeah. I think we're actually supposed to do them all at one time with multiple attacks. Right. We did talk about yeah, that. That doesn't matter. So basically, just stuck dodging the rest of the turn. I do hit. Yep. Oh, I forgot one was uh, unblockable. Roll I, it. No, that, that I, might do I, it. That just killed you. Oh, that kills me. That yep. killed you. Yeah, dun, I dun, forgot because I got the I got the advantage. Um, yep. So the one critical kills just kills The you. critical kills him. Oh, All blue right. Orange. We're get, we get I it think now. you get it. You I think you win. Guys, no, I think you win. get it now. Yeah. yeah. Mike's gonna win the game now. There's nothing I can do to catch I've, up. I've really bullied you away from. Uh, that was that was the here. risk that I ran up there. Well, you hoping know that you, you didn't grab you, it. You did it for funsies. Like, open yeah. a box. Like check it out. Right. Yeah. So. I mean, if it explodes, it hurts me too. Yeah. Right. Models so, are great. The, models the game are cool. is fun. I can see. Like so, by yeah, the end, I was like, okay, I get exactly what I need to roll. Boom, boom, boom. It would be a lot faster if, uh, yeah, I knew what I was doing, but I'm oh, getting it us. now. Both of us. What do you think? Like, as I mean, the the cost on the on the Kickstarter for a lot of people has been a little bit much, but if you look at really? the models, I don't get, think it. I think well, it's this, extremely good value. This set, which is just the models, um, the models, the cards, the trays, and that stuff for it, you don't get the dice or the terrain. Yeah. But Eighty dollars US. But that's a lot. And then it's twelve creature and caster models. The base models. game was like two fifty. Two fifty, I think. Two fifty US. Yeah. Reese can probably tell us better. They've just updated their. Uh, thank but, you, Reese. We we did our very level best. They just updated the international shipping as well, so it's on the Kickstarter. It's updated. And the base game comes with the terrain. It comes with a set of terrain. Yeah. A full set of characters. Yeah. Is there like a dungeon crawling version of this? 
that map comes in so, with the RPG. So what happens is, actually, I think we have the the because we're doing somewhere. like a skirmish style. Yeah, we're doing the PvP style, which is a ton of fun. This piece here, oh, and what's easiest? Put it in the dice cam. So inside the dice cam is your camp management board. So this is where it has that XCOM feel. So you can build different buildings, and you have a campaign book that you flip through. And this is where you have your characters. You can oh, only cool. have so many of each type of character, physical, skill, arcane, in each thing. And if characters are resting, then they can go do something. And you can you can build your team however you want? You can basically you build your, your characters that you all get in the box, you're playing all those dudes, but then you build different buildings. Stockades, bars, etc. Stuff that can help you and in combat. When do you get your box? Let's play already. Uh, dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> Reese, Reese, send me one soon. Send me one first. Um, but that's the campaign management board. The cool thing about it is there are missions that have to be run by a specific turn or you will lose the entire campaign. So it adds that XCOM pressure feel that a lot of... Like, the XCOM board game was great, but the app on the phone thing just made... It, it was really clunky and uninteractive. Like, it was frustrating. Oh. I never old, tried the board game. Because I'm, I'm a old man, and I shout at clouds because I wear an onion in my belt because it was the style at the time. Yeah. Um, but the campaign management board is part of what comes with the box set. And okay. that box set has all the heroes that you've seen in the other playthroughs. It has the monsters. It has a terrain. I don't think it has the cool mat, but there's a cool upgrade for the mats as well. I think it's I mean, this looks like mat. a frontline gaming mat. Oh, it's, it's almost like they do that as part of their shtick. Maybe. <laughs> uh, it doesn't come with a cool Brondo shirt. That's only Reese's. He said the cool Brondo shirt. I'm, I'm going to bug him about a Brondo shirt. Triple X, baby. That's all I'm saying. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I really, really think this game is... The mechanics are a ton of fun. And once you get playing it a few times... Yeah. You can see about the quick. Two, how quickly we went through the last three turns. Well, yeah, we, it was you know, had a chance to read the skills and like, how does this work? Okay, great. And you lose them a few yeah. times, you use them a few times, you're like, oh, I see this, oh, I see that. Yeah. Um, like a lawyer. I, I saw your dirty move right off the top. I was like, oh, he's running that guy back there and I can't do anything about it. It's, I love the move you made when you put Panthus sideways instead of coming at Sabir. I'm like, oh, crap, he didn't <laughs> charge at me. He's not doing the thing. What the hell's gonna happen now? Yeah. That was right after I broke Demon Hunter. <laughs> she had it coming. She had it coming. She's actually really cool. Um, so is your, your strategist. Um, the neat mechanic about being able to stop your opponent's stuff is really cool. And doing multiple things to pull those out, right? That's sort of the kick is... I don't pull out, Jake. You don't pull out. Wow. Okay. On that note, everybody, <laughs> we're just going to hit the mute button, Owen. <laughs> yes, when you pull out all the stops... Because <laughs> you do pull out all the stops, Mike. This we know. Um, that was fun, dude. Thanks so much for hanging out hey. on a Friday afternoon. I hope everybody out there loved it. Um, really appreciate it. Um, Reese, um, best of luck. Frontline Gaming with a Kickstarter. I know it's still ongoing. We've got a couple weeks left. I really love the expansion heroes. These They're are very fun. Cool. The Monk might be one of my favorites. He was, I mean... He was a nasty little missile, for sure. Um, he's that, a, whatever that guy's name Aloyan? is. The, uh, yeah, the, the mage. Yeah. That, like, robo-mage. Very cool model. Very, very cool. Oh, and yeah. Canthus? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the, the Canthus. The insect demon insect knight? knight? Yeah. His fleshy shield. That's so cool. Oh, it's so gross. Somebody put some good work into this. Yes, Way to they, go, guys. they absolutely did. And the mechanics, I think, once you read some of the lore, like, the, the, we have pages and pages of it. I'm like, holy crow. You can tell how long they've been working at this. It plays more like an RPG. Then it does a board game. But you it's get a tactical both. RPG, but you do get both because you can literally, once you understand it, we get to a point where, oh yeah, I got this, 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 boom, boom, boom. And then we know what the models are, where they know what they do, but it's like any other game. Like the first time you play 40K, what is an advanced move? Oh, I man. mean, go to any 40K yeah. forum and people asking, how far do I move after an advance? These are common questions because oh, it's yeah. not necessarily easy, but it becomes intuitive once you've played it a few times. But I really like saturation. it. It's a it's a big win for me, man. It's a big big win for me. Like I said, I backed it at the, at the with the extra hero expansion. So absolutely, I'm excited to get it. Nice. Well, thank you again. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Thanks everybody for watching. And like we always say, we're gonna look at that camera there. And I'm 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 100 percent on this, saying play on at the same time. But I'm not looking at you. But if you but what if we you, play you look what if we eyes, say Calabunga and high five. Cowabunga high five? Well, that's technically we could. <laughs> technically we could. Um, until the next time we see you in a far-flung universe of a grimdark future playing Blood Throne in the World of Shale, Cowabunga high five. Cowabunga! Bunga! There you go, baby. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.